The Dalish prisoners escaped safely? We got them away free and clear. Good. Your time with the Veil Jumpers probably taught you some of my history with our people. A bit, Treadwolf. Whatever my frustrations with them, it was a privilege to be able to help our people again. Thank you for allowing me to help. The chance to infuriate Elganon was a reminder of simpler times. You and Algernon were really tearing into one another back there. I needed to goad him to anger in order to distract him. Mm-hmm. But yes, while all of the Evanuris were monsters in their own ways, Elganon was the worst. Or perhaps it is more honest to say that his were the faults I found most objectionable. You have met him now, heard his voice hammering at the doors of your mind. And you have met me. Can you see how he and I might frustrate one another? The way the two of you argued, it didn't feel like enemies. It felt like family. How so? Family knows you better than anyone, and that can be good or bad. I had not thought of it that way. But yes, we had sentries to stoke the fires of our hatred. I saw his rise to tyranny coming, and could not stop it. And he saw me disrupt his plans for Dominion time and time again. Alright. I can see how you and Elgernon would hate each other. He has always been what I most feared becoming. Callous and uncaring, his arrogance unchecked. To have that much power and no one to remind him that he could be wrong. Well, he had you. <laughs> And I suppose I had you. You said you found the Dalish frustrating. Why is that? It is unfair to them. I lived for thousands of years. And after I imprisoned the Evanuris, I slept for thousands more. I awoke in a world that had forgotten the ancient times almost entirely. And those who tried to remember elven history, like the Dalish, had gotten so much wrong. Let me guess, you tried to tell them what they were getting wrong, and they didn't believe you? <laughs> there are few things that frustrate me as much as ignorance. I try to explain the truth to one clan. When I convinced them that I was truly Fanharel, they attacked me. After that, I hid my explanations behind the facade of having witnessed events in the Fade. And every mage knows that what we see in the Fade might not be literally true. Yes. The Dalish had no reason to believe me. I could only watch as they continued to worship Elganon. Though we may have seen the last of that tradition, at least. We would have had a hard time getting out of there without your help. I did not spend this long preparing you only to lose you to Elganon's machinations. Uh, no, I... I am sorry. That was poorly said. You have earned better from me. Okay... When we first met, I saw you only as a foolishly confident child who disrupted my plans. You were... an irritant. I gave you information to oppose Algernon out of necessity, but I expected you to be nothing more than a tool. Seeing you with your team... I was wrong. I appreciate you saying that. Couldn't have been easy. The only thing worse than being wrong is realizing it, but being afraid to change. Elganon's pride is no greater than mine, but he denies any failure on his part, and I at least try to acknowledge my mistakes. Your team trusts you, and you listen to them. It is impressive and enviable. It took me centuries to build such a bond during my rebellion, and when I served the Inquisition, I try to avoid entanglements. What about the Inquisitor? Does she not count as a friend? She does. One of several I grew fond of despite myself when I was with the Inquisition. There was also Cole, 
the spirit of compassion I helped adapt to our world. He was the only one who knew who I really was. I miss him a great deal. Josephine, the Inquisition's ambassador, was a bastion of kindness and decency in a world that looked down on elves and apostates. Even Cassandra Pentegast of the Order of the Seekers. She was what a believer should be. Faithful, practical, committed to serving, not ruling. I suppose I did bond with the Inquisition after all, as you have with your team. Thank you for sharing that. So what comes next? What are the gods going to do? Elganan and Gilanane are preparing the dagger they will use for their ritual to pierce the veil. Elganan's power is tied to light and darkness. He will need to perform a ritual during the next eclipse. That gives us some time to prepare. It is likely to be your last chance to do so. You must be ready for whatever comes, for this world and for the team that trusts you. I know that you will do everything in your power not to fail them. So now Elganarn's recovered his own Archdemon, and the gods only need an eclipse to complete their dagger. We saved the Dalish, though. That's important. But now Elgernon's immortal, so long as his Archdemon lives. And we all know how hard those things are to kill. We killed Razakil, didn't we? After losing hundreds of Wardens, and it took a centuries-old trap to do it. We don't have either of those. Not anymore. Just when you think the tide's in your favor, it turns right back. Okay, we always knew this was going to be hard, right? And yeah, maybe it's a little harder now. More than a little. But either we stop this or all of Thetis falls. So we see it through. All the way. Because no one else is going to. Nice speech, Rook. But it's hard to complete a contract if you don't know where the target is. We found the gods before. Not without help we didn't. So we get help again. We've got allies everywhere now. I can think of a few options, but I'm open to suggestions. Wardens have run dry. Nothing new is moving in the deep roads. And the Veil Jumpers couldn't find any trace of Elgrenon or his Archdemon. The Crows may have something. The Untam are moving large quantities of supplies out of the city. Weapons, armor, gadlock. And food. About half are remaining provisions. Enough to feed the Untam Navy. Given the timing, it seems unlikely to be a coincidence. Wherever those supplies are headed, that's likely where we'll find the gods. Any more details from the Crows, Lucanus? They said the Antam have long work ahead. We have time. Also, Biago would like a meeting. At your earliest convenience. From him, that means important, but not yet urgent. We've got options for what we do next. Figuring out where the Antam are taking those supplies should put us on the God's trail. Not to complicate things, but the Inquisitor also wants to meet Rook. Right. With everything she's been doing in the South, we owe her an update. I'll let her know. Today could have gone better, but it could have gone much worse. We fought off the Venatory and rescued the Dalish. That's a win by any standard. Rest up, and be ready to go. Next time the gods appear, let's make sure it's the last.
Oh, hey, Rook. What are you working on? Oh, it's part of that artifact, you know, from the ritual. I wanted to see how they did what they did, what it meant. Tried asking that thing, it won't tell me. The knowledge of the great Anaris is... A thing! Least I figured that out. How to make it go away, I mean. Damn it! We are getting through to Syrian. He almost listened. He was listening to you, Ballara, because you're his sister. He was my brother, my only brother. And just for a moment, he was my brother again. Then he wasn't. Then he was a person I might need to... I don't think I can, Rook, do that. This stuff's never easy, and it never should be. You become Anaris when the hard choices don't hurt anymore. I want to believe, to hope, that it won't come to that, and that we get through to him somehow. I really hope you're right. Well, either way, we'll be able to find them. How? Oh, I, I didn't tell you, right. The artifact. Couldn't figure out how it did it. Made those demons, I mean. But I attuned its resonance, and I'll know where they are next time, before they finish. So we can stop them. However we have to. We'll save your brother, Ballara. I hope you're right. I really do. But if we don't... Anyway, I should get back. To work. I mean, I don't think we have much time. What's shapen? <laughs> no one says, what's shapen anymore? I thought it was a dwarf thing. Yeah, if you lived in Orzammar 20 years ago. Wow, just trying to be nice, and what do I get? Sass. Aw, well, I appreciate it. And I'm... I'm doing okay. I think I just need some time to think and sort things out. You can talk to your friends about it. I hear that helps. It's already helping. You checking on me, I mean. I still remember every moment of it. Suffocating under the weight of the Titan's pain. I couldn't... I couldn't see a way past it. And all I wanted was for the rest of the world to suffer too. <sighs> and then... Everyone was there, and that's when I knew we'd be okay. That I'd... That I'd be okay. I know you would have done the same for me. You helped me remember who I was. Not some titan, but just... Lace Harding. And yes, if you ever need me like I needed you, I will be there. That is my promise to you. You know, I think about Solus sometimes. He's been trapped by his mistakes for eons. When you're blinded by sorrow and pain, you need someone to help you past it. But he's too proud for that. He believes he's alone, even when he doesn't have to be. He'll never ask for help, but that doesn't mean we can't offer it anyway. But do you think he can be helped? The Inquisitor and Solus were friends. I know she wants her friend back. She's reached out. All Solus has to do is take the offered hand, the simplest thing. And yet, no one's beyond help, Rook. No one. I have to believe it. Or none of this matters.
Hey, Rook. I was planning to take us on to the woods in Arlathan soon. Want to keep us company? Sounds good to me. Hassan will be glad to hear it. Needs to stretch his wings. There's something I need to do, back home. Everything all right? Yeah, just chasing Aelia. It brings a lot up. If you're around, maybe. I'd take the company. Sure thing, Nev. Something wrong? Biago and Teya sent word. They have information about Ilario. Whatever it is, they wish to speak away from Treviso, away from anyone who might be listening. They won't put more to paper. I need to meet with them as soon as possible. Hey, I got word from my mother. She wants to talk. Have you talked with her since? Nope, not since I told her I was non-binary. But her note said she wanted to talk about that tablet we found, the old Kunari one. Of course that's what she wants to talk about. We can go whenever you're good. I'll let you know. Myrna, hello. I assume Vorgoth's not far back. We have her, Rook. We have her. We know exactly what she's planning. The Professor asked us to research the artifact that came into the possession of Johanna Hesenkos. She carries a gloaming lantern. That bad as it sounds? They were fashioned in ages past by unscrupulous necromancers. The lanterns steal and concentrate life. Johanna could use it to leech life from hundreds at a time. An endless source of power. A lantern that sucks the life out of people? They're very souls. But we know where Johanna will be. She has returned to Blackthorn Manor. Hezenkos intends to hold a soiree. That can't be her whole plan. No, but I propose a small group infiltrate Johanna's lair while she's distracted and destroy her lantern. Let's do it. Vorgoth and I must return to the necropolis. Hunt well. If only we could make Johanna see reason. You tried before. She seems... stubborn. Perhaps that's why she attained immortality. While I quake on the threshold, when, if, I make my own bid for lichdom. Oh, 
It's no use pretending this hasn't stirred up that old dread of my own mortality. You could also be having a normal reaction to facing danger every other day. No, it shouldn't be this crushing, this prevalent. It... No. Oh. Johanna was never beset by these sort of fears. A little fear is healthy. You'll feel better once we crash her lair and destroy that lantern. Promise. We need that report Irulan was asking about. I can't believe we've got another Archdemon to deal with. This time we'll go better. It has to. Do you think you'll survive this one? I don't know. Getting out of Weishaupt alive might have been a fluke. It cannot be. A son needs you. I wouldn't mind you sticking around either. You're not so bad yourself. Hassan can get the gate. Another truffle hunt? No, we're meeting Eldrin. The old elf I told you about. I spent summers here. Tended hollow when I was a kid. Hard to imagine the mighty hunter hanging out with deer. Not a... Hassan, hang back. Eldrin, I got your message. Oh? Who are you? It's me, Davrin. I knew a Davrin once. Strange kid. Too small, even for an elf. Well, now, hold on. So, this walking mountain of armor I see before me can't be hidden. <laughs> you sure got old and cranky. You got old and far too good looking. I was always the lady killer. This is Rook. We're working together. I've heard the name. I've heard other things too. There's some history. Doesn't matter. 
I just need to know if you can be trusted around Hala. I don't know what you've heard, but I'm still Dalish where it counts. The Hala will decide that. Arlathan Forest is wrong in a way I've never seen. We know. The Hala aren't coming around, and these old bones aren't up to the task of chasing them anymore. I'm worried they're sick. I need you to check on them for me. Asan, I told you. Is that what I think it is? I'm looking after him. Remarkable. A griffin. Never thought I'd see one. Maybe all those summers here rubbed off. The monster hunter turned shepherd. What was Davern like back then? We don't need to waste Eldrin's time with- He sang a lot. This guy? He'd sing to the holler. You mean the Grey Warden standing next to me? Now hold on. I'd get tired trying to herd them. I started humming to keep myself awake, and they slowed down to listen. <laughs> so naturally you broke out into song. Only when humming didn't work. Just getting the job done. And now the job is caretaker to a griffin. Davern's got a soft spot in there. Asan's digging it out. Just keeping his nose clean. Seems my old lesson sunk in. Not every creature in the forest is quarry. I didn't ignore everything you said. And now we've got some hollow to find. Davrin, I'm glad to see you took the road less traveled. It suits you. Okay, what do we do? Find some stone root, a marple tree, and vanderberries. I thought we were looking for Hala. A lot of people would go chasing after them, running around, getting nowhere. Hala can keep that up for days. Maybe you could sing to them? I'll go right on pretending you didn't say that. Trick I've learned. Ringing the dinner bell is a lot easier than searching the whole damned forest. Here we go. Found a marple tree. See if it has a dead branch. Got it. It's hollow, right? When you blow through it, it mimics a hollow's call. The dinner bell. Not ringing it yet, but that's the idea. Here, some banner berries. Sweet as candy. Hollow lapped them up. Interesting. I wonder what they taste like. Don't even think it. Uncle Eldrin let me try one once. As a lesson. It lasted an hour. Paralysis, hallucinations, cramps. Oof. Uh-huh. Great for Hala. Bad for people. Over here. Stone root. Dig up a... Good. Hang on to that. We slice away the outer husk. There's seeds inside that mimic the hollow mating scent. I thought we were ringing the dinner bell. Maybe it's a romantic dinner. Time to get out that marble branch and call the hollow. He sounds excited. Let's hope it's that and not I'm hungry for venison. It's on the other side of this. He senses something. Could be Hala. We've got a griffin. Asan could track them. I need to be careful of the predator in him that's ingrained to hunt and kill things before they kill him. He'd attack the Hala? Probably not, but he's never seen one.
this is a good spot. Lay out the stone root and banner berries. Time to blow the horn. I'll let you have the honor. Sick. How long can it last like that? Another week, maybe? The forest is going rotten. We need to do something. Look around for more Vanterberries. Asan, don't you even think about going after- Davern, remember. Trust. Right. Turlum. Okay. Asan, do as I would do, boy. Be nice. Did Asan just bring in some food? He did. I'll be damned. Won't forget that anytime soon. Thanks for helping out. Something new every day. Wish it could always be like this. There's more to him than hunting Darkspawn. Eyes of an eagle, roar of a lion. But maybe the heart of a holla. <coughs> and the appetite of all three. You found your Turlum. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Come on, boy. You did good. We'll need to tell Aldrin about this Hala. So, your uncle is quite the character. Eldrin will drink you under the table, then the floor, then bury you in the basement as a joke. Most of my clan didn't understand why I left. Eldrin had an open mind, saw I was restless. He approved? He knew I had to find my own way, though he warned me about joining the Wardens. Too dangerous? Too much darkness. Eldrin always preached balance in life. Not something Grey Wardens seem to know much about. We reek of darkspawn all the time. I guess that's why working with Asan, there's something to be said for drawing strength from the light. Any luck? We found one. Looked sick. I was afraid of that. If you can find more Vanna berries... Hassan took care of it. <coughs> A griffin helped to holler? It's like he was a shepherd. I couldn't believe it. Remarkable. Nothing about that in the training manual. The world knows griffins as warriors who fought dark spawn, but they existed long before that. Existed as what? A creature of the wild, free to explore their nature. But griffins live for the hunt. 
So do you. Yet now, you're a caretaker. I'm proof that anything can change. Don't know if it's for the better. Nothing about change is ever certain. I once knew a restless young elf who believed there was more to life than shoveling hollow manure. It's the nature of nature to surprise us. Maybe you're right. See you around, Elder. Okay, so the plan is basically to sneak around, find Hezekos's lantern, and smash it. It's quite a crowd over in the manor. Johanna's gathering. If she's mingling there, we'll be spotted. Fortunately, we have someone who could pass as a servant. You don't think he'll stand out? There'll be other undead servants. I'd be surprised if Johanna recognized him. You know, she never truly appreciated Manfred's cleverness. <laughs> right, Manfred. You're to find Johanna's guests and help us gather information on where her workshop might be. We'll be watching in case anything occurs. Something's going to occur. Once we find and destroy Johanna's lantern, we'll end whatever she's planning. Hopefully, before she introduces the lantern to her guests. That should be enough time for Manfred to blend in as a servant. Let's find a place inside to observe him, quietly. Right. Let's find another way in. Johanna's last guests must already be in attendance. There's a lot of people here. Hezenkos must be planning to drain their souls with her lantern. And after that? Raise more undead, I'd wager. But no ordinary revival would require such a massive store of... Sounds like the party's in that main hall where we confronted Hezenkos. Perfect. We can watch Manfred discreetly from the balconies. And see if Hezenkos has that lantern on her. Saying about a shrine in the manor. 
Yes, a shrine revealed by a spectral tome. Which, as an expert, I could read if our host ever lets me into the library. An ancestral shrine? I could question the deceased there about the location of Johanna's lantern. Well, if a book can lead us to the shrine, let's hit the library. I'm just waiting for our host's grand announcement. My invitation was so unexpected. I thought Hesenkos despised me after I beat her to an unseen crimson years back. The library's to the east, right? Where we closed Hezenkas' portal into the Fade. Why did she return to this mansion? Johanna must have a workshop hidden here. Likely where she's prepared whatever she plans to empower with this lantern. I'd expected Johanna to post more guards. Maybe she didn't want to scare her guests? Let's see if we can find that book pointing to the ancestral shrine. Nothing about a shrine here. What's a romance doing under geography? Hmm?
This isn't it? Ah, a handsomely bound volume, but no. I can't even read this one. It's written in tomb script. Intriguing, but not what we're after. What about this? That book just snarled at me. Ah, there's our spectral tome. Well done. No, oh, it's not opening. One must be delicate. That guest of Johanna's claimed to be an expert in spectral literature. And was interested in the shrine. Let's have Manfred hand him the book, see what he says. Waiting for us? Manfred, take this tome to the man asking about the shrine, please. Don't worry. We'll watch from the balcony. Guide to Blackthorn Manor? <sighs> there now. I only want to look up one thing. Ah, there is an ancestral shrine in the Northwest Wing. Perfect. Let's go to the shrine. Yes, the deceased there should be most helpful in finding Johanna's lantern. This way to the shrine. 
I've never been to a party with so many mages without being hired to kill one of them. Were your targets always mages? Not all the time. But how do we kill Hezengaz? Does she even breathe? It's unlikely. The stilling of the lungs is one of the first blessings of undeath. Don't worry. We'll find a way. The shrine's locked. We must find a... Manfred? What's he got there? Is this a key to the shrine? Excellent, Manfred. <laughs> oh my! A body from the House of the Verheims prepared during the Storm Age. We can come back for it after. Excellent idea. Time to find Hesenkos. He's all yours, Emmerich. By flame and seal, by light and flood, open your eyes once more. <sighs> Who dares disturb? Friends to the dead. Friends, this one was abandoned, lost. Emmerich, it's getting noisy. He's unusually obstinate. Speak! Where is Hesenkos? Prove yourselves. What claim have you to the deceased? <laughs> A willing dead companion? This one concedes. <laughs> Hesenkos makes something that should not be. Red tapestry. Look there. Rook, did you hear that? Manfred just... I know! Also, we should move. Oh, he can talk. Manfred, say something else. <sighs> Come now, you just spoke. We have to go. Yes, uh, yes.
I'll need a wisp. This wall looks... Ha! Secret door. Manfred, could you please squeeze through and open the door from the other side? Yes! Aha! I knew I didn't imagine him speaking. Yeah. How can Manfred talk now? He began as a wisp that embodied what most wisps do. Curiosity. I knew he was learning quickly outside the necropolis, but this level of complexity is remarkable. Does a skeleton need to learn anything? He's not even alive. Ah, but Lucanus, what is life considered holistically? <sighs> Why did I ask that? Good work, Manfred. Hope this leads to where Hasenkos is keeping that lantern. I can only imagine what she's planning to use it for. must lead to Johanna's workshop. What's that through the wall? Oh my word! Yeah. I thought you and your little friends might work your way into my party, Karen. Johanna! Even half lich, you can't control something this massive! That glow on the skeleton up there, that's Hezen Costa's lantern! She's going to use the life stored in it to reanimate that, that monstrosity! Quickly, we must reach the lantern! They're all yours. 
set that one up. of undead. Huh. You may as well leave me with the fuel in a bonfire. I'm seeing why hasn't Goss failed that lich morality test. We must make haste to that lantern. Unbelievable. Johanna has stolen a chamber from the Grand Necropolis and transposed it under Blackthorn Manor. Mages. You want contracts in your life? This is how you get a contract on your life. The Necropolis's wards here are still intact. No wonder we couldn't sense what she's been creating. Don't think I can't sense your I'm about to He'll be fine. We'll handle this.
there you are. And can you release that ladder? Thank you, Master. Now find somewhere safe. There's the lantern. You're going to feed the spirits inside? We must, before we can destroy it. Like back when you were freeing those spirits, Hezenkos trapped in the manor? That took a lot out of you. We must try, Rook. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Emmerich! There are too many trapped spirits. I'm sorry. I can't. Another lash of power might end me. What's that, Volcaren? Afraid to chance death for your precious spirits? For all your fine words on the subject, only I had the courage to risk my life for our art. I've seen Emmerich face worse than you. I'm not the one so paralyzed by fear I couldn't seize immortality. Johanna, listen to me. You're right. I've never overcome fear of that final dark. I miss having a friend that could. Yes. Who is the idealist? I'm sorry Lichdom failed you. I swear I would have helped you had you come to me. But puppeting this creature... Puppet? Puppet? Do you think I'm staying a failed lich? I won't command my greatest creation! I will become it! Colleagues, interfering Templars, inept rivals, you all have a place in my heart. And tonight you will fuel my ascension at the cost of your miserable lives. long enough to destroy that lantern. With that much life inside it, the backlash could... We don't have a choice. Oh. Once I destroy you, wretches, my union with my creation will be complete. How's your job? Run, Volkaren. Bury like the rat you are. I can't believe you brought your ridiculous pet skeleton with you! His name is Manfred! Crush you myself if I must. 
Touching that you brought your new friends to die for the poor current. I'll be sure to bury you all in the same tomb. Lantern? It might kill me and not even work. No living thing can approach it and... Manfred! Come back! Any last words for Karen? Before I... Manfred knew you could do this. So do I. By the spirits bound here, night and shadow, light and blood. What are you doing? Let your chains loosen. Let the fade draw close. You'll never succeed, you old fool. I release you to the air. How's Manfred holding to get... We must go to the necropolis. His body could only take so much. But I underestimated him, Rook. What bravery in the heart of the dead. And how he grew. Manfred disobeyed me, 
beautifully. He was his own soul at the end. Can you bring him back? I will ask. Emric Volkarin. You were not expected so soon. Get colder. You're in no danger, Rook. He's come to hear my plea. My lord, I come regarding Manfred, my fallen companion. Yes, there are ways to return his spirit. But should you do this, Lichdom falls from your grasp. What? Why? Lichdom is long. If I'm to stand outside death, I must make peace with others passing through it. What would we otherwise become? How many exceptions till tyranny? Revive him and remain mortal. Or let him slumber and join us. Emmerich. Manfred chose to help us. Am I too weak to accept his well-earned rest? I yearn for Lichdom Rook. But leap into something greater, that everlasting light. Do I revive him and live out my days? Or do I honor death by letting him rest and protect this world through immortality? Mortality's a hard price, but you'd miss Manfred. Oh, of course I would. But a Watcher should be more accepting of loss, of grief, of his own death in turn. You're braver than you know, Emmerich. You've always risked your life. Against Hezenkos, against the gods. Death's abyss always recedes with someone to brave it for. I think facing a lot of things would be easier if Manfred was back. Oh, he was fearless. He has so much potential, Rook. So far to grow. Then help him do it. You're absolutely right. I'll need your help. Rest easy, Manfred. We'll soon have you back amongst the living. I should check on Emric and see if he's ready to bring back Manfred. I've made my preparations, Rook. Will you help me restore Manfred to the world of the living? I'll do whatever I can. Thank you. We must go to the necropolis once you're ready. Let me know if you need my help the next time you leave. We have morning. discovered more spirits causing ruin. Kindly correct them.
Okay, Emmerich, how's this work? We'll need assistance finding Manfred's Wisp and drawing it back into his body. By pact and pledge, I seek an audience. By light and breath, let wisdom come. You've met these spirits before, but I've never properly introduced you. Rook, allow me to present two Necropolis Guardians, the Keepsake of Ages and Far-Sighted Curio. Thank you both very much for helping with Manfred. How polite! How fine! Good manners in mortal kind, beyond the spirit callers at last. Friends, my assistant, my ward, Manfred, sacrificed himself to save us. We'd heard you'd abandoned Lichdom to bring him back. Your work, your dreams. You paid the price. But it seems there are many flickers of curiosity in the Fade. And only one you seek. Draw his wisp near. Speak. Can I help? Yes, please. Think of Manfred. Tell me something you felt about him. Concentrate. He was always so excited to be around you, Emmerich. If spirits can learn to love, he loved you. In the Sea of the Fade, there are wakes left by our passing. Our desires, our fears. I leave this beacon for you, Manfred. Follow my voice. Return to me! Please. Manfred? It worked! Thanks for stitching that seam on my coat, Fred. It was coming loose. And nice new threads yourself. Thank you! Yes, we needed something to mark him as an apprentice around the necropolis. It's a good fit. See you around. Yes! Oh, you know what to call me. Okay, bring it down now. He's excited for his training. Manfred's spellcraft is coming along nicely, more or less. Some undead have the potential to cast magic. I believe his was unlocked by his journey through the Fade. What was that like? Dunno! You mean you don't know? Dunno! We must work on that enunciation. Why don't you fetch the primer? Oh, our talking skeleton is learning more words. He's already picked up shant from somewhere. As he grows, Manfred will better learn to take care of himself. I won't worry so much when I pass on. How do you feel about that last part? I have moments of regret for what Lichdom might have been. But none would make me exchange this for anything.
I'm meeting Stalgard at Isana Nagat, on the mountain. Come with me? Is there unfinished business? No, nothing of the sort, but I could use company if you're up for the trip. Not even a little bit. Rook, we have to go. We might already be too late. Slow down, what's happening? The artifact. Remember how I told you that I'd know if they started another ritual? They did, and it's big. Really, really big. Arlethan big, maybe. You're sure? Completely. Nothing else explains that resonance. Okay. So how do we stop that from happening? I don't know. I hope the ritual's just started. We might be able to stop it if they haven't gotten very far. And if they've had the chance? These rituals need an anchor with a physical body, so not a spirit or whatever Anaris is. Which means Syrian. And there's only one way to free an anchor. Then let's not waste any time. Hey, Rook. Have time for something outside the lighthouse? I was going to head to Arlathan with the sun. See a real sky again. You're welcome to join us. Your mother learned something new about the tablet? Uh -huh. Haven't talked to her since the big fight at dinner. Hey, we're here. Mother? Tama? Get Isabella. It might not be hers. You think I don't know what my mother's blood smells like? Get Isabella! Tell her to find Cutter! Tama... No sign of your mother. Cutter's gone too. He was here. I caught his scent. He took her! We'll find her, Tosh. Why did he go after my mother? There were letters from the Dragon King in his room, about your mother and about the tablet. Since when does the Dragon King want the tablet? He's been after Tosh. The tablet's about Tosh, about fire breathers. It's why Shathan's desperate to decode it. 
In exchange for the tablet and Shathan, the Dragon King will turn Cutter into a fire breather, like you. That's Vashadan! Isabella, what do you know about the Dragon King? I know a thing or two about the Antarm, but I've never met one like him. He certainly loves dragons. We know. His Antarm were the ones who've been blighting them for the gods. I mean, he wants to be one. He drinks their blood and everything. Makes sense that he's interested in our Tash. Isabella, you knew the tablet was about fire breathers? Shathan told me. And you didn't tell us because... Wasn't mine to tell. Shathan wanted to tell Tash herself. Is it actually possible to make Kunari into fire breathers? No, that's not how it works. I thought we didn't know how it works. Doesn't matter if it's true. Cutter believed it enough to take Shathan. Sounds like it's time to pay a visit to the Dragon King. We found a map in Cutter's room. He's holed up in a dormant volcano to the north. It's full of old mining tunnels. Getting inside might be a challenge. We'll handle it. We'll all handle it. Cutter betrayed us. When you go in, the Lords will have your backs. Thanks. Let's go. Dash, we're here. What's the plan? We find someplace Cutter and my mother were. I can track them from there. You sure you don't want to head straight for the mine? Isabella said the Dragon King was there. We find my mother first. She might be somewhere else. I'll kill Cutter and the Dragon King once she's safe. That boat over there. It could be Cutter's. Maybe. Let's look. She was here. So was Cutter. You can track them by their scent? Scent, tracks, whatever it takes. Cutter's not getting away. We've got on, Tom. Are they looking for us? Fear not, Adari. Your priest is enjoying the Dragon King's hospitality. He's not my priest. He's my lover. No, he has her. Not for long. Hey, take a look over there. 
she was here. If they came this way, they barred the path afterwards. I'll make us a path. Good. Come on. You okay, Tosh? I'm fine. You come to die. Take a look over there. We're on their trail. Closer. We don't have time for this. Hang on, this thing's gonna burn. An undamp cannon, and they didn't even load it. Must have hit them before they could get it ready. The 
Mierda. Shark's Mouth Mountain. Looks even worse with lava pouring out of it. That's where he is. The Dragon King. For gold and glory! Look at that. Barely a scratch. We came the short way. Any sign of Shathan? No. The trail led here. Then she's inside their base. It'll be full of Antarm. Not for long. Main path's destroyed. You'll have to climb. I know how to rile the Antarm. We'll make some noise and draw them off you. Good luck, Tash. We will put it right. Place, Dash? No. Isabella told us it was bad luck to go near the mountain. Old Ravani superstitions. Said we might awaken the fire. No wonder the Antom took it over. Who's hiding? Come and fight! Where do they get all these details? Cutter must have given them information. It doesn't matter. Come on. Dragon King didn't put these fortifications to use? Boss fortifications? No. He might send his Antom in here to hang banners and crap. But these aren't fancy enough for him to live in. They don't make him look powerful. When they still follow the cune while climbing. Know your body. Know the slope. Know your next handhold. Always telling me how to do everything. Good advice. There's still stuff I gotta tell her.
There's our way in. Right. Let's go find your mom. And then throw that stupid tablet into this volcano and never talk about it again. Now, that's something. That's why he made it his lair. Dragon King! You want me? Come and get me! We're not sneaking in after that. He knew we were here. Firing. Who cares? They're dead. Come on. Here? Yeah. People come here by choice? Watch your step. No guardrails. Safety is for the weak. I speak to you in the train talk since we have guests. There is nothing sacred about the Makari Bank. It is we, like those who follow the cube. I've heard the Kunari called a lot of things, but never weak.
betrayed you. That's one down. Cutter is Vashadon. The only enemy who matters is the Dragon King. <laughs> Still a stupid name. Dragons don't have kings, they have queens. You should tell him that. I can't burn through the gate. Let's look around for a way to open it. A lot. There's more coming. The gate's down. Good. Come on. From an old warden base, perhaps. Grey wardens study the blight. This must have been where the Antom learned to blight the dragons. Bastards! <laughs> Destroy. Today we will claim our birthright! 
lying. Tama. Tosh, wait! Today, we claim our true strength by right of fire. Tama! Ava Tosh, little dragon. I am Atashok, the Dragon King. Tosh? You're like me. I am nothing like you. I embrace our birthright. You hide from it. You belong to the Antar. You should have been ours. Instead, the priest stole you away. Leave her out of this. You wanted me, you got me. Yes, the one you call Cutter insisted you would follow our bait. Oh, did he? How helpful of him. Cutter's dead. There, to rage. The passion that burns inside in Adari's heart. Your mother could not quench it entirely. What do you want? I want your fire, little dragon. I want your blood. My Aunt Tom have grown strong with the blessings of Gilanae. And with your lifeblood, Gilanae can create an army of Adari for me. Our fire will burn this land pure. You let us go. You let Shathong go right now, and you get to live. <laughs> you think threats will save your life? Might save yours. <laughs> the Antar could have made you strong, but your mother hid you away. Made you hide in the fire. What does she tell you? Chakra to Ebra! You struggle against yourself, little dragon. You do not deserve this. It contains a message from our ancestors. The full words can be revealed by a dragon's fire. With this, we will prove we are meant to rule this world! You are wrong, Atashok. Chakra Toebra is not an order to struggle against what you are. It is a reminder that through struggle you find what you are. And you have never done so. Evatash has. They are stronger than you will ever be. Rook, you will keep them safe. Chakra to Ebra. Tama! Tosh! Move! We've only got one way forward. Tama... <laughs> he dies! We're with you. Dash, we're with you. I need to see her and kill him.
for us to go. I can... I can... Maybe... Oh. Help me with her legs. I'm sorry. We're out of time. <laughs> Tosh, you've got to let her go.
We went there to save her. Tosh, I'm so sorry. You didn't kill her. She made the decision for all of us. <laughs> Same as always. Shokra Toebra. What kind of last words are those for someone you're supposed to care about? She also said you were stronger than the Dragon King. <laughs> and then I misunderstood the Kunari crap. Like always. We never got to yell it out. We never get to fix it. It's a bit of her horn. I cut it off when I... When I left her. I should do something with it. Ravani would wear it as jewelry. But she hated when I acted Ravani. Kunari would graft the horn to their own. But she didn't want me to stay in the cune. What would make her happy? It's not about her. Yeah. Your mother, was she a Kunari who happened to live in Ravain? Or was she a Ravaini woman who happened to be Kunari? Huh. <laughs> Kunari. So Kunari, she left when they weren't doing it right. That's how she'd want me to remember her. As Kunari. Is that what you want to do? <sighs> yeah. I can do that. And I can do this. She wanted me to have it. The Dragon King said the full message would be revealed by Dragonfire. Do we need to find a dragon? <laughs> no, the Dragon King was stupid. Dragonfire. Let's find out what it says. He's courageous, and I do enjoy his stories. I didn't expect it, but Strife and I are getting along quite well. But where to go with him? Does he like coffee or knives? Sorry, Emric. Rook might be better at this. Rook, quickly, Strife will be here soon. Does wandering Arlathan's groves or exploring its caves filled with lightning insects seem more romantic? How long have you and Strife been seeing each other? Not for long. He inquired about my corpse whispering, then presented me with the most exquisite jeweled skull. One thing led to another. He got you a skull? 
Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting the dead sometimes unsettle you. Not always, but it's nice you liked the skull. If you and Strife are just out for fun, I'm sure any place is good. You know Strife's work, Rook. Constantly exploring, sometimes hunted, often alone. Whether or not he knows it, a man like that needs romance. And you're going to give it to him? Oh, eventually. If you want romantic, you can't beat a beautiful forest. Very true. Perhaps serenity would be just the thing. All set. Where are we heading, Emmerich? After some consideration, let's jaunt over to the groves. <laughs> a jaunt in Arlethan. Not exactly what veil jumpers would call it. Though there are some flowers you might like. Ah, oh, I'll find some sample vials. Until later. That's what I like about your friend, Rook. For a city mage, he's not afraid to play in the mud. Should I wait up? Don't bother. It's not a real outing if we don't come back till sunrise. Our scouts reported back. They said more Venatori patrols. Elgin. Let them try some. Look, I'm told you helped the Do you feel that? It's like something's tugging at my whole body. Ritual's already started. We don't have much time. I'm sorry, Ballara, for what it's worth. I guess I just thought... I thought maybe he'd listened, even if it took him a bit. But he did it. Let's go stop my brother. Just imagine, tens of thousands of elves used to walk these streets. Look at all that. The seat of the Elvenon Empire. Until it was all destroyed by Tevinter Magisters and their blood magic.
So what is that feeling? The tearing apart one? That'd be it. It's you being, well, torn apart, just really slowly. Ah, right. Okay, I was expecting a bridge here. What's the plan? Do you see those lyrium reserves by that opening? There should be matching anchors on our side. Let's try linking them. Let's give it a try. Wow. It's amazing any of the city's still standing. We're floating. Yeah, weird. Preserved. Wild magic is like wild weather. It can flatten the building next door and leave you completely untouched. That's what makes it dangerous. It's unpredictable. strongest here. Maybe it's being caused by that crystal over there? I think you're right. Let's check it out. Okay. The feeling strongest here. That hum means this thing is amplifying the magic, sending the ritual over a wider area. Destroying this will buy us time, or it should. Look, Ballara, there's only one way this ends. Right. We kill my brother. I wish this story could end any other way. But it can't. And that's on him. We need to get moving. Right, okay. Be ready. This is gonna attract some attention. Here comes the first wave! First wave? You're expecting more? When hasn't there been a second wave? Good boy.
this room. So we're trapped? Well, temporarily. Let's disable this crystal and see what happens next. So we stopped the ritual? No, it's still going, but we slowed it down and bought ourselves a little time. Then let's use that time well. Demons. As one would expect. Let's deal with them and keep moving. We need to close it. as we get closer to the ritual. How do you know? I don't. Plan for the worst, hope for the best. What does Anaris plan to do with an army of demons? I don't know. He seemed pretty focused on his current form. He can't do much without a physical body, so the best guess is going for one of those. After that, not sure. But I don't think it'll be anything good. Is it just me, or is that... Tingling sensation starting to get a lot stronger. It's not just you. The magic's starting to change our own resonance. Align it to the rituals. And that means... That we'd better hurry. There's something on the other wall we could aim the beam at. The wall opposite the door, I mean.
we can extend that bridge, then we can knock down that ladder. Should be easy enough. It's never easy. I don't like this place. It's creepy. What makes it creepy? Arlathan usually feels like, well, like it's sleeping. But this place feels dead. Like someone wanted it wiped clean. Fair enough. linking two anchors. You need to link the right two anchors. Okay, got it. should be right ahead. They're right through here. Syrian and Anaris. Time to stop them, no matter what. Side. Ballara! I told you to stay away! I can't, Syrian. Not when it comes to you. Why couldn't you listen to me? What was she supposed to do? Let you get away with this? No, but. Damn it! Damn it, Ballara! Come now. They cannot halt my moment of triumph. Soon they shall witness my beneficence, as well as my wrath. Now, I shall make your people pure. Now I shall become flesh. Finish the ritual, Syrian. Let me deliver you to salvation. Wait, something's wrong. This is not... I wasn't sure that was going to work. 
Tyrion? Is that... What happened? Ivor Sharad. It's me. What exactly just happened? A flaw. A little one. Enough to disrupt his ritual, that is. With any luck, it sent him right back to the middle of the Fade. I think Rook means... Why'd you do it? I followed your heart. Like I said, it's a good heart. And I didn't want to disappoint you. Not again. Right. I get it. We should get going. The energy concentration here is... <gasps> Betrayed again! How tragic! No! How I've missed the smell. The taste of this world. Once I dispose of you and finish my ritual, I will have succor in the storm. You took away my brother. I'm gonna make you wish you were still a spirit. Then come, puling wastrels, and face me! Is it over? Did we win? We beat him. Sent him back to the Fade. Now hush. We need to get you out of here. No. Not this time. I had my second chance. I don't get a third. I can't lose you again, Syrian. Please. I'm sorry for us, Siobhan. For everything. Rook. Thank you for helping Balor, for helping me. I wish it hadn't ended like this. I made these choices, no one else. Balor, one last favor to ask. What is it? Can you stay with me 
until it's light. Yeah. Of course. Trouble ahead. So the Gloomhalder was once a Grey Warden. Not proud of him. I seem to remember saying you couldn't trust Wardens. Bad blood in their veins. I thought we moved past all that. Oh, we did. It's just, when I'm right, I'm right. Uh-huh. A picnic, huh? Not how I pictured hanging out with a monster hunter. Evka and Antoine's doing. They told me after all the Wardens have been through, and what's ahead, that I should take a break. I'm surprised you actually listened. You know how sad Antoine can look? So what did you pack for the picnic? Emmerich helped me brew a ginger ward truffle tea. I thought we'd see what all the fuss is about. An adventure in a teapot. 
More like a rediscovery. Apparently it's an old, old recipe. Well then, to your health. Cheers. That's not bad. It's gingery, but also garlic, hints of mushroom, something else. Well, I've never eaten a worm, but yeah, it is a little earthy. Wait, what? There. Davrin. What? Asan just talked to me. Huh? What did he say? No, not that. What you said before. Emmerich said Ginger Ward might have some kind of magical properties. More than might. Hmm. Maybe it affects some people more than others. You alright, Rook? Worms to you too, Asan. Worms? You wouldn't get it. It's between me and Asan. You want to dig some up for him? Be my guest. I'll skip that. Thanks for getting me out of the lighthouse, Stavron. And with good company. Stalgard should be around here somewhere. I hope he's fully recovered from being trapped in the rock. I hope so too, but the Kalsharok dwarves are tough. I'd like to see Kalsharok. Do you think Stalgard would take me? Should I ask him? Would that be rude? Only if you ask rudely. They're wary of outsiders, but I could learn so much about the dwarves. About myself. Maybe once things have settled down a bit. Stalgard told me about this place. The mountain is rich with lyrium, and the dwarves built this outpost to trade with Devinter. As long as a dwarf stayed within the fort's walls, it would be as though they hadn't left the stone. They could keep their casts. Is it just me, or does it feel different now? You're right. Something's different. Maybe it's because the expression of the Titan's pain that looked like me doesn't live here anymore. I can't believe that made perfect sense. I'll just move this rock out of our way. Leave it to me. Is this entire mountain a titan? It's been still for so long. 
I can't tell where it begins and ends. It's big, though. They all were. Those rocks I can move were all parts of the Titans once. Once I knew, I couldn't forget it. Now I sense them all the time, whether they're dead or just sleeping. The story of their fall is the story of our birth. It's why we don't dream, why we're resistant to delirium, and the reason we feel the earth in our guts. You got it. We sold Lyrium to the Tevinter Imperium. Titan blood, our blood, traded for gold. So they could use it for magic. The elves stole Lyrium from the Titans to make themselves bodies. And eons later, we gave it to a new generation of mages. All on our own. It's sad, isn't it? They mined Lyrium here, too. Isn't that a little ghoulish? Lyrium is the blood of our ancestors. Maybe ancestors isn't the right word? We were part of them. We were them. I don't know the right word. around the deep roads on the way here. Lace Harding's shade kept them away for a time. So they'll be back, I think. Oh, there he is. It is hard to say. Stalgard. They seem different now. But... Ah, good. We are all here. I wanted you to meet my sister, Dura. She is a steward of Karl Shirok's memories. A historian. We have heard of your gifts. We wanted to meet you. To learn from you. From... me? About the Titans. About our past. <laughs> you came here to meet me. To talk to... me? Hey, I'd want to meet you too if I heard all the stories. I've learned so much, but I know there's still more to discover. I could tell you what I've learned, but maybe... Maybe it's better if I show you. Hear the song of the stone. You children of Titans. This is the eternal hymn. The prayer and the proclamation. Isa Duna. I felt the Titans. I opened my heart to all of you, but I could hold it only for a moment. But there was an eternity in that moment. Thank you. No. Thank you. Being here with you. With all of you. I finally understand. We will carry the Titans in our hearts. But it is no longer their time. It is ours.
I got word from a Canari linguist. Not on, Tom. Real Canari. She can translate the tablet for me. Wants to meet on my beach in Ravain. You need company? Maybe. Yeah. Just let me know when you're free. Hi. What are you reading? Syrian's last words? Veil jumpers had them. He must have known it was the end, one way or another. Right. I don't know what to say here. Me neither. I don't know if anyone does. He and I, we had plans. Together, find the archive, the Nodus Drathalin. Get back what made us who we were, what was stolen from us. But now, Syrian's gone. Because of what that thing knew, what it told him. And maybe it should be gone too. Forget about our people for a minute. What do you want to do? I don't know. I wish I did. Our people shape the world. We don't even know a quarter of what they could do or did. With the Archive, we could be that again. So you think we should keep it? But what about the bad side? The other things we did? We stole the Dwarves' dreams. Put their gods to sleep. And much, much worse. Good point. There's no easy answer. Everything they could be again, our people's future, on my shoulders. Everyone trusts you, Pallara. Strife, Urilin, the team. I don't know if I trust myself. Not for something like this, this big a decision. I don't want to make the wrong choice. Sometimes the only wrong choice is not choosing at all. Then tell me, Rook, what would you do? What we were is important, and we should remember it. But some of that knowledge should stay buried. Enough that the Archive should be freed. Makes sense. I get it. Define ourselves by who we are, not who we were. Okay, I'll free it. When? Soon. But I need to say goodbye. To it, I mean. Is that weird? No. You and Syrian looked for it together. I can understand why it's hard to let go of. I guess I'm saying goodbye to him too. Finally. Okay. I need some time. Alone. I'll talk to you later. Rook. Trust me, it's her. And we're lucky. If someone found the body before us, she would have been cremated. Ugh, I'll never understand that custom. What are you two up to? Rook, it's very exciting. Nev's invited me to help solve a murder. Well, if anyone's going to gather clues from the dead. I helped the Navaran city guard a few times. 
but a long-lost crime from the heart of Tevinta. Let's not oversell it. You ready? By the flame that stoked you, by the light that rises, return and speak. You were a shadow dragon. Someone took you out. She's already digging in. Be firm. Why should this one speak? For a chance to right some wrongs. One last time. Speak with no promise of answer. You helped get people out of the city. Who was the last person you took? No, no. Secret. This one's to protect. They're clinging to a role, keeping secrets. Fine. Then tell me who killed you. Did you see their face? Their name gives the other away. If they came for you, then they're coming for whoever you helped escape. Nev knows what she's talking about. You can trust her. Your final task will be for naught, unless you aid us. This one saw the murderer's face. Moranus, his son, wanted out for Black Page family. This one got the son to Asario. Help him. The Shadow Dragons will get him to safety. Thank you. The spirit has left us. Thank you for trusting me with one of your dead? Wouldn't leave that to just anyone. You're a different story. Thanks for the help. Anytime. This smells amazing. Does all coffee smell like this? Or just the stuff you make? Coffee has a distinct aroma, if that's what you're asking. Sorry. It was really rare where I grew up. And expensive. Try everything once. That's what I say. I want to, but sometimes I just like having what I like. Nothing wrong with that. So, Harding, what do you think? It's... Mmm... Delicious! You don't have to pretend to like it. I mean, it's good! It's nice and... warm? Rook's right. You don't have to pretend. I won't be upset if you don't like coffee. He really wouldn't. I know, but... Ugh. Sorry. It's just this thing I do sometimes. Acting so people will like you? That sounds terrible when you say it like that. I know I don't need to do it. I just do. Well, everyone you know seems to like you. So you're good. Good job, Lace. You must have been pretty tiny as a child. Where'd that come from? A tiny dwarven girl in a land of large human farmers. Oh, yeah. I probably learned pretty quick that things worked out better if people liked me. If they agreed with me, or I agreed with them. Some people like cream or sugar in their coffee. Maybe coffee just isn't my thing. Rook, Efka and Antoine sent word. A warden's arrived at Lavendel with news. He might have a lead on Isaya. Then we've got to get to Lavendel. Agreed. Thanks.
Lucas Kaisen, one of our own. He left on his calling months ago, then stumbled back in last night. Have you met him before? In passing, yes, but no more. He spent most of his time in the Eastern garrisons, and then left for his calling. That sounds as rough as it gets. Hope he makes it. We've tried everything we can, but... The Kuling is the end for Wardens. Except the Gloom Howler. Warden Kryson, can you talk? What happened? <clears throat> the dead are dead. <clears throat> Who isn't? <laughs> the Deep Roads. The elf wants vengeance. She's planning a crusade. Isaya. A crusade against who? Grey Wardens. All of us. Well, that's not ominous. She's just lost her mind. Gathering forces. Griffins are there. Not much time. Lucas. Antoine, I need to know where he came out of the deep roads. It's time we flush the sewers. This is it, where Warden Kryson came back from his calling. Easy boy. He senses Darkspawn? That, and the Griffins. This is your time, boy. You're ready for this. Hunt. Hunt. Don't go getting a big head, boy. I mean it. You watch those tail feathers of yours. The second you feel Darkspawn breathing of them, you hide. This thing, the Gloom Howler. Is Saya. Why would she take the Griffins to the Deep Roads? What does she want? She was a Grey Warden. Last anyone heard, she disappeared down here. After using blood magic on her own griffins. And she's still at it. The archdemon blood she took from the cauldron? That's the end of Hassan's family if we don't stop her. What's your name, Warden? What is this place? Sanctuary. It reeks of darkspawn and blight. Embrace it, and it will embrace you. The calling is not the end for Grey Wardens. You. You're no Warden. You're not allowed. Not allowed to do what? Join those who hear the song of the old gods. You're sworn to kill.
kill Darkspawn, not befriend them. She showed us another way. She? You mean Isaya? Names fade. The song endures. But not for you. My friend here's a warden. I'm sure he's up for it. So's my sword. Show him what it can do. I don't know, but the Blight's taken hold. Anyway, doesn't look like the deep roads I know. They're building something down here. It's almost like... Nah. Like what? A corrupted version of Weishaupt.
Weishaupt, but worse. Even blighted, they were still Grey Wardens once. Old memories linger, echoes of them anyway, twisted by Isaiah. Yeah. First Warden? Rook. What happened? Are you in pain? It's beyond that now. Gillanane did her worst. Then she found me. The Gloom Howler? Isaya? She's mad. She has the Wardens under her spell. She's on a crusade to wipe out the whole Order. What about the Griffins? She's going to blight them, too. Turn our own symbols against us. Can we still stop her? She's about to start a blood ritual. You'll have to hurry. Search around. There's a feather from her own Griffin long ago. I've seen her look at it with what passes for emotion. It might jog something. How can we help you? She's in my head. <gasps> I can't hold her off. I should have died at Weishaupt anyway. But... Give me some peace. That's an order, Warden. Yes, sir. Be at peace, sir. Only death will free them. We should look around for that feather. They managed to rebuild the war room. I remember this from Weishaupt. Say has raised her army. Maps here. All across Thetis. Looks like battle plans. Say is ambitious. I'll give her that. Here's the feather, for whatever it's worth. Let's get moving before Isaya does her worst.
I promise I won't disappear like that again. No, I didn't bring any ginger wart truffles. of the old gods. These griffins will be born again! She's starting the ritual. The griffins. We have to get in there. I don't see the griffins. They're up at the top, past all this blight. More blighted wardens! I see them. Keep attacking the boils. We have to clear them out. 
enough to get up to the Griffins. The tyranny of Grey Wolves has come to its end. and Weiss out. her way you blighted the griffins you doomed them the wardens doomed them by their own decree i saved them the eggs these are the future with blight in their veins the griffins will be immortal the wardens will never harm them again i will be their shield against the pain What about this feather? It belonged to a griffin you cared for, didn't it? Ravus. That was your mount? And a friend. Did the blight free it from pain? It drove her mad. I had to put her down. And you would do the same to these griffins? I'm sorry. Who's ready to go home? Feather Brigade looks happy. And I'd like to keep it that way. Just not sure how. What'd you have in mind? I was thinking I'd ask my good friend Rook for advice. I'm too close to this. Too attached. Davrin, they're hungry and staring at me. That one's salivating. <laughs> Let's do this. I asked you all here to make a decision. These griffins need a home, a purpose, a future. 
Efka, tradition would say they return home with the Grey Wardens, continue their lineage as warriors fighting the darkness. We're already preparing the Eri for them. This time, we vow they'll be treated with honor and respect. But I've also seen another side to them. A protective side. It's only fair to consider a new path. Eldrin? Arlathan Forest needs a guardian. Sentinels to fight the marauders, the poachers, the rot. I'd be happy to train them. And now the tough part. I trust all of you. I don't trust myself, my judgment. I'm too close to them. But I do trust Rook. She risked her life for these griffins. Whatever she feels is best, I'll agree to. Really? You sure? No doubt. With so many things in our world changing, I think now is the time for Griffins to try something new. They've served the Wardens well, which is why I know they'll do the same for Arleth and Forest. I've seen a different side to them. The Shepherd, protecting creatures in our world who are often forgotten. Being Dalish myself, I know how much we need their help. The Griffins' new home should be among the trees. Well said. The forest and everything that lives there thanks you. Sir. I love you, boy. I don't want to lose you. They're your family. I understand if you want to go with them. It's up to you. Bye, boy. <laughs> Welcome home! Now, how about thanking Rook for all the help? Come here. What's that you say? I can ride you all over Thetis when you're big enough? Hey, now. That's what he said, I swear. Yeah? How about we discuss it over some ginger wart tea? Ah. Uh... A word when you have a moment. Greetings. I am Sia Rowan. I help the spirits in this area. You help them? I speak with them and for them, and sometimes they speak through me. We keep this land safe for spirits so that no harm comes to them or to the people who live here. That is why I ask for your help. 
Right. What do you need me to do? Years ago, when mages rebelled across Southern Thedas, Templars from the Southern Chantry marched upon Ravine. They declared our mages criminals and killed many of us. The unacknowledged pain of that injustice twists spirits into demons. Stop the demons and let compassion ease that pain and the land will be safer. I'll see what I can do. Glinting, gleaming, stealing us with steel, splinters flying as they kick in the door to our home. I wonder what happened to the Gloomhaller, Isaya. That she became so twisted. Probably lived in the shadows too long. The guilt turned into rage. Then she turned into a monster. Something you and I could learn from. A person deals with death and darkness for a living. It doesn't always end well. Then we'll just have to watch each other's backs.
got company. Clear. Baking in my armor. So much hotter here than back in Ferelden. Kill on sight. But they don't look like abominations. They just look sad. Trouble ahead. We ran, but they chased us. We tried to surrender, but they killed us as we knelt. The spirits roar as the fire comes. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The wood will always be scorched, but the rain has washed away the fire and smoke. Thank you. We have company.
Avatash! The air has been running from the storm all afternoon. You came just in time for it. There are others here as well, up the beach. Yeah, it's okay. We came to meet them. Kunari, not Antam, but real Kunari, like us. Their little ship avoided the Antam. They asked how I was. They told me I could go back to Parvalin with them, if I wanted. What do you mean, the air is running away from the storm? We think of air as being nothing. But if you have felt a driving wind, you know it has weight. On a calm, sunny day, the air rests on you like a warm, thick blanket. When a storm is coming, the air pushes on you less. We say that it is afraid, running from the storm. You can feel the difference in the air? Some of us use tools to measure it. Some of us can feel it in old aches, or the way your body knows the sun is rising. Do you want to take the Kunari up on their offer? I used to think that I could never return. That the Antam broke me from the Kune when they took me away. But these Kunari said they could help me heal my mind. I would like that. I think I am ready. And I think staying here would make me sad, now that Shathan is gone. Yeah. You have grafted your mother's horn to yours. Yeah. Alchemist with the Lords did it for me. It'll grow now like my own. And she will always be with you. Hey, before we go, I brought food. It's probably not as good as she makes it. Thank you, Evatash. I will eat the fruit. Be safe. Do not stay out too long in the storm. Right. Let's go see what the damn tablet says. You all right? Just ready to get it over with. The Kanari translator said she had to give the translation in person. That's a little odd. Yep. Come on. Translator at least give you a hint of what the tablet said? Huh. Sorry. No food today. Next time. Probably get all soggy anyway. Huh. This is good. Simple. Wet. You're the one who keeps throwing rocks. Come on. No sense putting it off. They got a ship past the Antam and the Ravani fleet? Oh, it's a small ship. Probably snuck by with all the smugglers. You are Evatosh, and Rook. Shathan, who served as your Tomasran, was a friend to me. Are you really going to be able to help Karash, like you offered? Yes. The Antom hurt many in the Kune when they launched their invasion on the south. Karash will go to those who heal the mind. It speaks well of Shathan that she helped him. You study ancient Kunari language, like Shathan did? Yes, I study both the language and the culture of the first expedition. My hope is that by learning more of the first expedition, we can improve our understanding of ourselves. It's an honor to meet someone who has studied the first expedition. Shathan was the most knowledgeable of us. Thank you for sending her notes. Sure. 
you wish to know of the tablet. Before I give you the translation, I must explain. What you learn here, I ask that you hold to yourself. What is there is sacred. I wouldn't have learned it without Rook. Then we will respect your trust. The tablet's message must only be spoken. It must not be written down. So that's why you couldn't just send a letter? Yes, the tablet warned us against doing so. I remember the words, but please, bring your fire to the tablet so that I can show you. By dragon's fire, these words are revealed. Trust no story not hidden this way. When the adversary came, we mixed our blood with dragons to fight. Protect those with fire. They see what we cannot. We fled across the sea, but there is no safety here. We have sickened and will soon die. If more of us come from across the sea, then the adversary will follow. Beware the devouring storm. What kind of Vashadon is this? This tells anyone willing to listen that you were not a mistake. In fact, the Kunari need you. Only because of some stupid new thing. Rook is correct. The Adari had been a subject of debate among the scholars of the Kune. We had no evidence. Now we do. We were wrong to send them to the Antam as simple soldiers. And Shathan was right in taking you from us. She succeeded where we failed. And she died for it. I'll go check on them. All right, where'd they go? Tosh must be very upset. Will you speak with them? break my neck climbing up here in the rain. Had to find the highest place around here, huh? <laughs> hey, Tosh. All that work. All the ancient Kunari crap that she died for. And what's the secret? More work? More responsibility? She can't just leave me with this. She can't just... Leave me. You're allowed to feel sad that she's gone. I already cried about her once. I should be done. I don't think that's how it works. Like you'd know how it works? You act like you haven't lost anyone. We're talking about you. <sighs> the Kunari thought I was a mistake. The Dragon King thought I was a weapon. Shazan was the only one who believed in me. The Kunari want me to help them, protect them. What do I do with that? Honestly, I have no idea. But I look forward to watching you and the Kunari bounce off each other. <laughs> we need the Kunari ready for whatever comes next. Whether it's the Devouring Storm or something else. They need to be united. Most of the Ontown broke away from the Kune, including any other Adari. Then we need to get them back. And the Ontown. They don't know how to live outside the Kune. That's a good start. I'm gonna make the Kune more like what it's supposed to be. What she taught me it was. I can do that for you. Tama.
On your guard. They're at range. And welcome. You stand in Ravain, home of magic, danger, and adventure. Tell me, if you will, do you hunger for excitement? I'm not against adventure. What have you got? A Ravaini lord of fortune was following a map leading to buried treasure. Sadly, Ritzinger attempted to loot a treasure chest mid-battle. Understandable enthusiasm. And I remember them fondly. But you can carry out their final wishes to find this treasure no matter the danger and earn gold and glory. If you give me the map, I'll see what I can do. You think they'll let you buy one of those islands? No way I'm retiring in the Andertals. Corpses. They're pirate corpses. Guess we're not the only ones after the treasure. Get down! 
that's been sorted. After Weishaupt, I think we might have bigger problems to deal with than each other. We might. I still don't trust Spite. I don't understand them, but I trust you. I still say Wardens are dangerous, but perhaps not you. Fair enough. Corpses. How big was their crew? They're close. tried to come for me, you would have failed. I kill archdemons for a living. I can take out one crow. Not this crow. I have a griffin. They eat crows. 
I have a demon. They eat cats. I can use the practice. Keep that up, bro. You know, Davrin, even if you had tried to come for me, you would have failed. I kill archdemons for a living. I can take out one crow. Not this crow. I have a griffin. They eat crows. I have a demon. They eat cats. Good thing we'll never have to put any of this to the test. I'm guessing that one is their captain. Time to fight! <laughs> Do you know where the treasure was the whole time? You had to find it yourself. The real treasure was the journey. Now, Ritzinger would have used this to purchase a new ship. Since their last caught fire and burned, I believe a lady was involved. But the gold and glory are yours now, to use as you will. Adventure! Ready when you are. <laughs> 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 
clear.
Dan still alive?
Is Martin staying here? In Lavern. You're keeping busy. All right, then. Hey, Antoine, Evka. I can still hear it. <laughs> ah, though it is giving me a headache. Please be careful. With the container? It's very sturdy. I tested it. What? When? And how? Am I interrupting? No. Our study of the new Blight continues. We know the gods changed the Blight. We think it changed more than they realized, or altered itself after. It's answering to something. Other than gods. So the rules change further. The world's never as stable as people believe. Huh. A veil jumper would know. We should trade stories sometime. So what's the Blight answering to? Remember the strange call I heard after the Lavendale battle? It was here, in the wetlands. We think the source is out a ways. Towards the redoubt. I can tell it's something large, rooted, a construct of the Blight itself, an eruption controlling the rest. What that could mean... Everything that calls the Blight impacts the Wardens. We withstand it. But gods, archdemons, it all adds strain. If the eruption calls the Blight, then it could mess with us too. Spark the calling sooner. We'll lose ourselves, along with the wetlands. Should you have told me all this? About the calling? First Warden would have said no. You're our friend. You chase archdemons and fight the Blight. It seems fair you know what this means. Antoine, you hear stuff in the Blight, more than some of the others. Are you...? Ah, uh, yes. A little sensitive, but it's not calling to me. Not yet. Like everyone else, I'll know when that changes. So how do I help? <laughs> Figured you'd be in. Remember those samples you found when we first arrived? Based on our studies, Antoine made an alchemical flame. It's impressive. It should destroy the eruption. Theoretically. At least the last patch was stable. Mostly. But if the eruption's controlling the Blight and it gets attacked, then the Blight around Lavendel might respond. Yes. Its roots are everywhere. And spreading. I can feel them. These people can't lose their Blight experts. I can go after the eruption. While we guard against nasty side effects here. Stay safe. Or as safe as you can. I've no fear when Evka's at my back. You've always got me. The Blight poisons so much. Water, plants, animals, people. Some would call the wetlands dead already. But they're not. It's not too late. Whatever the eruption means for the Wardens, we can leave this place better. It's what we're supposed to do. We'll take our stand in the sheltered glade. Meet us there when you're done. Trouble nearby. Way to get it done. One 
for us. There's definitely something in here. Something wrong. Let's get this over with. The eruption's on the other side of that barrier. We need to cut off the tendrils to break through. While holding off Dark Spawn. Dark spot show up. A tendril. It's attached over th on the ledge. We can hit the tendrils from there. Turn down one of those. We're through. Let's see what's at the heart of this. That's the blight eruption? Mierda. The darkspawn are protecting it. We need to take them out. Damn it. Cameron? I can hear that eruption. The blight's spreading. We need to stop it. Get that eruption. All right, we strike and the whole thing goes up.
All right, time to destroy this thing. Blight eruption was... We knew the blight had changed, but... I didn't expect that. It's what Antoine's been hearing. It was spreading blight through the wetlands. Farther, maybe. When we hit it... Do you think they felt it in Lavendale? They aren't blighted. Were they dormant? Maybe. They're beautiful. Much like you. Ah, Rook. Hi. We knew when you hit that eruption, the blight around Lavendel reacted. And there was a sound in it, like nothing we've heard before. What happened in there? What was it like? It was... I'm going to have nightmares. Oh, nightmares. Yes. Those are unfortunate. But you stopped it anyway. When the eruption was destroyed, some of the bigger tendrils pulled back. The remaining blight won't vanish overnight, but it's a good sign. And this place opened up. The flowers here, they managed to survive, buried, untouched. They have a chance to return now. It's incredible. I wasn't expecting flowers. It's what we're here to do, to make this possible again. We thought the Grey Warden's purpose would end when the last Archdemons died. And that time's almost here. It's unbelievable! The Order is those of us left now. When the Archdemons fall, some Wardens will hang up their swords. Until they're calling, at least. So the Wardens are finished? No, our numbers may get smaller, but Efka and I will be here. Others will stay too. There's still blight in the world. There's something new calling to it. And to us. There's blight inside us too. If it changed out there, have we changed as well? What matters is that if new evils show up, we'll be here to keep them back. Are you doing okay with all this? Really? Don't worry. I'm good. I've got everything I need right here. Me too. Do you really think something inside you has changed? It's possible. Or maybe we're the same. But does that mean we'll be the same? You can't sense the blight. But trust us, it feels different. And the sound is changing too. As for what it means, it's like Antoine said. We don't know yet. I'm sure you'll be fine, but if there's anything I can do, just say. Of course. It's good we answered your first letter, and it didn't catch fire. What? 
It may have come close to an explosive, but we all met in the end. The Blight feels relentless most of the time. We see what it does up close. A world dying, how it spreads. But we keep going. And look, these flowers can make it back. They really can. And they're beautiful. I think so. Lavendel was named for flowers. They must have been everywhere before. When we get back... We can stay here a bit longer first. Oh, yes. I thought I heard birds earlier. Maybe we can find them? The wetlands aren't fully healed. But some places barely come back at all. Yeah. Pushing back the blight. It's possible. We've traced several disappearances to an unusual possession. It seeks fear. Cut it down. Arm yourselves. There, it's a haunting.
says it wanted us to fly away. We stopped it. The story of that thing will live here much longer. Trouble ahead.
Davrin, I, I... I can feel... Spite! Taking over! I'm losing control. Rook, this is it. Here we go. I'll try to keep this clean and fast. You want it in the park? Shoulders. Shoulders? Feeling tight. Need a massage. What? <laughs> a nice Orlesian hot storm rod should do the trick. Not funny. I disagree. and quiet. Let's not disturb it.
We got rid of a haunting in the Hosberg wetlands. Welcome news. It will stalk the innocent no longer. A malignant spirit has attached itself to an inanimate object. It has already taken lives. Dispose of it before it strikes again. How go your inquiries? Well, thank you. I've secured my attendance at the It must be the haunting. <laughs>
check the shipment. You don't have to. Oh, never mind. Expecting the Venatori to show up. They said something about shipments. Let's look around. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Oh, thank the Maker. Did you find the others? What others? Those mercenaries have abducted people from around Doctown, then sold them to the Venatori. I heard them talk about a warehouse. They could be holding them there. We'll look into it. The warehouse where we found the Darkspawn isn't far from here. Let's look around, see what we find. Well, that's not good. Sounds like blood magic. <laughs> Trafficking in people. Vile. We need to stop this. Low Tide Beach, let's go. Get you out of there. Hang on. You all right? No, but I'm alive and grateful. They were going to take me somewhere. They, they talked about rituals and risen gods. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Stay safe, or as safe as you can.
If you got a job for me, let me know. Here to remember the fallen? Allow me. The lights are magical and require a mage's touch. We should do something to remember the ones who passed. A light for Hector, for Lorelei, for all shadow dragons. Those we have lost, and those we may still lose. For the fallen of Minrathis. In the long hours of the night when hope has abandoned me, I will see the stars and know your light remains. May you shine bright in our memory, always cherished. Never forgotten. The Minrathus Wall of Light. These lights, they're to remember the dead? Unless the family lacks mages to keep them lit, or the money for one, then you're left in the dark to venture subtlety. This was Brahms. Rana's old partner. His light was out when I got here. I should have been back sooner. Don't do that to yourself. Rook. Just trust me on this one. I'm stopping Aelia. Looks like we had the same idea. Rana. He read serials between assignments. Romance. The last one ended on a cliffhanger. He was sure he knew the ending. I never checked if he was right. I'm sure you could find the final chapters. I know. I'm not sure I want to. Pretending it ends well. <sighs> we can give him that. You're not the only one chasing Aelia. I've trapped some of her followers. They aren't quick to talk. Most said I'd be saved soon. But I did get the name of a place. Sanctum Lusacan. Rana, that's great. There's a catch. It's an old temple. A lost one. If there's a record of its location, I can't find it. It's more than we had. I can track this down. And you'll tell me? Look, I know who else you work with, what they might suggest, but... What are you going to do? What it takes. Things are bad, but Doc Town needs to see... What? Venatory overrunning their home? Taking away who and what we love? They see you, Nev. Is that all? We're running out of choices, Rana. We need to take the ones left. Brom's light. Thanks. Sure.
You found something? About Ilario? Possibly. What do you mean, possibly? You have something or you don't? It's Caterino. We don't know that for certain. Tell me. I've got my eyes on Villa della Morte. One of them brought back one of Caterina's rings. It had been thrown out with the trash. Ilario would never do that. He'd at least pawn it somewhere. You think Caterina threw the ring away as a message that she's inside the house? Her opal ring. Lucanis, you know what that means. She gave that ring to my mother. It was the mark of her favor. House Velardo killed my parents and sent it back to Caterina to demand she surrendered the seat of First Talon. She's alive. Ilario, you idiot. We need more eyes in the villa to say for certain. Ilario would tear the city apart searching if he'd lost this. How could she be alive? What is he thinking? How am I supposed to deal with this? We need to plan a rescue. The sooner we get Caterina out of there, the better. It could be a trap. We have to deal with Ilario first. He could still kill her if we move against him. Maker knows what's in his head. V, you're too pessimistic for your own good. Reason with him, Lucanis. I thought I had a clear shot at my target. What if I go after him and get Katarina killed? Help us. How? What do you need? He'll listen. He always listens to you. Come. What did you do? Is this the Fade? It seems... different. It isn't like those fragments of Solus's past in the crossroads, either. Lucanus is here. Always. Behind locked doors. I can't break through. All right. Let's go get him. I was supposed to have a useful demon, and instead I have a useless abomination. Wonderful! I know this place. It's the ossuary. The prison we freed Lucanus from. Freed? No. We've always been here. Right. It's not the real ossuary, but it doesn't seem like a memory either. Lucanus is in here somewhere, right? He's... what? Where they kept his blood? Yes. Go there! But the locks everywhere. I can't touch them. How do I get past the locks? Turn myself into a mouse? Fight a bunch of giant spiders? By getting past the locks. It's a prison! Right. What was I thinking? Still fighting. Tiresome. There's no point, you know. Nothing awaits you anymore. You're long dead. Nobody's here. Of course not. Rook can't be here. Me? Why not? You open doors. You don't close them. Even if it kills you. And you are raised into the heavens to join the gods. Perfect and exalted. A murder of crows at your feet. Rock, did you forget our deal? You were to bring my grandson back to me. I did. You brought me an abomination. Where is my grandson? Tenderness and terror. Rage and relief. Old stale fear of disappointment. This is the Fade. So this Katarina is... a spirit? Something like that? No, Lucanus is mine. They won't dare. Thoughts live here. Ideas. Feelings. She's his idea of Katarina, then. Katarina? Lucanus is trapped. But I think you're part of his way out. 
Lucanus may have changed, but he's still the little boy you loved and raised. He's not changed. He's possessed by a demon. And you would never think of rejecting him, whatever happened. Would you? My poor boy. What trouble, Viv. When the demon emerges, let me have his entrails, my lady. Don't worry, Rook. I've got my eye on the prisoner. You've conjured up a friendly face, Lucanus. But your real friends and allies need you, in the real world. Rook, are you sure Spite isn't tricking you? What if there's no Lucanus, just the demon? After a year in the ossuary, you might believe that. But you're no demon. Look around. This isn't the mind of a human being, let alone an Antivan crow. You're the man you were, Lucanus, even buried in this pain. No demon would punish itself like this. You really shouldn't trust anything you find in the Fade. I trust you, Lucanus, and I trust myself to get you home. Let me. You know that's the kind of attitude that's gonna get you killed, right? I'll risk it. I have a master assassin on my side, don't I? Just be careful. If I were in charge, you wouldn't have to do this anymore. Hey, Rook. Should you be here? Can't say it's the safest place in the world. Strangeness and charm. Something familiar and foreign at the same time. With a little guilt. Somehow I thought Lucanus would think of Nev as being more... Tevinter. Tevinter? People come in three kinds. Family. Enemies. Contracts. I hope that's just spite talking. Nev, you need to let us pass. You know how he is, Rook. Even if you open the door, Lucanus won't walk through it. This is where he wants to be. Lucanus always has a choice. If he can't see that, I'm here to show him. You really think you can help him? You're such a sap, Rook. I think it's time you stood aside and let me try. from flying a vermin to malicious spirit. Whatever will you become next? I wonder. Katarina was first done. This is crow. Business. We can hunt. We can hunt. Rook, you're too good to be wasting your time in a place like this. Forget about my cousin. You've got much more important things to worry about, don't you? You've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. <gasps> Sharp, jagged edges. Hurt with every breath. Grief and relief. Hope and anger mixed. Lucanus, you don't owe Ilario a second thought, much less a supporting role. He put us here. You've got to leave this be, Rook. You turn my cousin loose, it's only going to cause more grief. I think Alario will be feeling that grief. Right, Lucanus? You know that Katarina had five children? Eight grandchildren, all dead now, except for Lucanus and me. Last time the Gros fought a war of succession, how still Amorte lost everything. Except the seat of First Talon. This time, we fight ourselves. What will be left then? You think you'll survive? Your friends? Your cause? 
There's no alternative. There's going to be a confrontation, and it's not going to end well. A year he spent in this hole, in darkness, dreaming of escape. Just to come home to kill his only family for a job he never wanted. Do you really think he made a deal with a demon? He's not even a mage. Or do you think maybe he just found the one there already? He'll carry this prison with him forever. And he'll fill it with corpses given time. We need out. You're an Antivan crow, Lucanus. A professional. Trained to avoid collateral damage and go after the real enemy. You have no idea what the consequences will be. Whatever they are, Lucanus, I'll be there to help you. to find you. If anything happened to you, I can't even think about it. You should go. It's better I stay here than risk losing you. You see? He breaks our agreement. His mind is still here. He wants to stay here, so he keeps me here! Mierda! Why would I want to stay? Even in my head, this place is a nightmare. Right, but it's a nightmare you already defeated. I get it now. As bad as the ossuary was for you, it was better than the alternative. What alternative? The ossuary, Zara. You could solve those problems with a blade. But healing again? Living as an abomination? There's no simple answer there. And if you fail, you could hurt the ones you love. No! I... This is not... Ugh. Damn it, Rook! Make him leave! He's trying to leave, Spite. It's... complicated. Mortals can't just change ourselves. It takes a lot of time. Ugh. Rook, you're right. There has to be a way through this. It's just... So much! I cannot see how to begin. Start small, you and Spite. Figure out a goal you can both agree on, then make it happen. A contract? Contracts are for clients. Call this an alliance. But on what terms? Didn't you just learn your grandmother was alive? What are you waiting for? Go rescue her! That's true. Fighting crows? And anyone else that gets in our way. Do we have a deal? We free Katarina together. Together? We will fight! Rook, are you all right? What's the matter with the two of you? It's okay. We needed a moment, but I'd say we're ready for anything. How long were we standing here? Just long enough for it to get awkward. You're sure you're all right? We're fine, Thea. Don't waste your worry on us. Can I trust the two of you to keep an eye on Hilario? If he starts anything, I want to know about it. I was going to do that anyway. You're planning something. I'm getting Katarina back. But Viago is right. We need more information before we move. Hilario panicked when I came back alive. If he panics again, he could actually kill her this time. We'll only get one chance at this.
These meetings can't be good for business. I'm here, Inquisitor. It isn't just Inquisitor, is it? You were someone before that. Clown Lavellan. We try to be no one you've heard of. Morrigan is holding a perimeter. We're alone. Tell me what Solus did at Elganon's ritual. Sounds like you already know. I need to hear it from you. Elgarnon raised his archdemon. Solus got us out of there. We saved a lot of people. You sound grateful. Why not? He really did help. It seems so. He's always thinking about where it ends. How many of his names do you know? God of Lies, Dreadwolf, Fenharel. The titles he earned from enemies, followers, and fractured history. I once called him by another name. Friend. Some friend. Do you always agree with your friends? We're pretty aligned on whether or not to destroy the world, if that's what you mean. I'll never excuse what he's done. He's killed people I held dear, you know this too. But... He became those names when he fought gods. And regret for his world turned into destroying ours. Sound familiar? You're making us sound like Solus. That's uncomfortable. We're not like our enemy. They're making us do this. Simple as one of Varric's morals. Don't become what you hate. Or trapped by what we've lost. Also one of his. Tell me about the team you've built. Are they a concern, or...? You're handling things. This part? What you have now? I just miss the banter about friends. Congratulations are in order. There are no more hauntings of this magnitude to be dealt with. You have done well. Allow us to present you with a final token of our appreciation. The shrouded halls have been left in appalling condition. Memory wanes. That provides scant comfort. There is much to be done.
Hey, Rook. Irlin and Strife reached out. They finished preparations for Sirian's funeral. I... I could use someone to come with me, if you're able. Just let me know, okay? Sure thing. The Evanurus do not need. They only demand. Deny them. Brooke, I've compiled the last reports from an informant. You remember our talk with Rana? She had a lead on Alia's location. A place called Sanctum Lusacan. A lost Tevinter temple, right? Does this mean you found it? I'm pretty damn sure. Of course you found it. And you were worried. A bit early for the past tense. So where is this place? The Mimrathas Catacombs. An underground temple to the God of Night. It was sealed off and forgotten under a derelict building outside the Thread Market. I've had an eye on the catacombs. Alias haunted them before, but they span the city, endless twists, hidden passages. It's too much to sweep alone. Thanks to Rana's information, I was able to drop the right hints, ask the right questions. Now we've got a sanctum. Are you ready? Not much of a choice. Ducktown's on edge. People are missing. The Threads are putting up a fight against Alia's followers, but they can't last forever. Alia's a powerful blood mage now. If I let her finish the ritual, no more chances. So what's our next move? Meet at the Swan. Put the last pieces in place after that. We'll see. Maybe tomorrow. <coughs> Swimming? Don't push your luck. You're still learning how to fly. You two have come a long way since we met. Yeah. And he's still just a cub. Wait till he's a teenager. It's all about emotion with his son. What makes him happy, what makes him sad, or afraid. He's pure that way. No hiding anything. He likes you, you know it. He doesn't like you. He won't hold back. What about me? He's taking a shine. Yeah? Listen, I wanted to thank you. Without your help, the Griffins would have gone extinct all over again. You stepped up. They have a home because of you. Our people will take good care of them. It's the best choice for the Griffins. And I bet... Asan's brothers and sisters will agree. He says as long as there are clear skies to roam, warm sun to nap, and bellyfuls of food, they'll be happy. A griffin's word is good enough for me. Till Tosh teaches him how to swear. That might actually be fun. <laughs> See you around. Oh, great. Is it your turn to cook? What's all this gonna be? Paella. Well, two of them. One without seafood for Emric. And churros for dessert. They pair well with chocolate calda. Wait, did you make dessert just for me? There's enough for everyone. As long as they don't mind having it with my favorite drink. They won't complain.
You didn't have to do anything special for me. Yes, I did. I still don't know how to apologize for everything. And you... You made dessert just for me. It's nothing or not enough. It is. And you are. And I'll have you know, I am very easily bribed. I'll keep that in mind. So, what's this about? I got you a thing. Oh, Tosh. It's gorgeous. Oh, the stitching. Yeah. Because I appreciate your skills. At archery. <laughs> Thank you, Tosh. That's really sweet. And that's my cue. Good talk. Love you both. Wait, you're leaving? You two need to be alone. Alone, alone. Just the two of us. Oh, oh. Hey, Tosh, do you want to come with me to break this in? Yeah, like now? Of course now. Oh, good, let's go. Hey, Rook. I'm around if you need me. So, what's the story? If Rana was right, Ailey is in Sanctum Lusacan. We chase the leads. This is it. We find the Sanctum. Alias blood magic ritual site and Doc Town's missing people. Some news between friends. Venatori got Damas. The boss is dead. What? Who's running the threads? They'll follow Lost Orders for a bit, then someone grabs control or we fall apart. Time's running out. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Alec, the threads used some of the catacombs for smuggling. The cult pushed us out across the city, but I still know the ways in. What's a favor? Nev, Rook, you have news. I wasn't sure you'd tell me. I said I would. No, I asked you to, and never mind. Rana, it's going to be fine. All right. 
What did you find? Sanctum Lusakhan is underground, in a lost stretch of catacombs near the thread market. Good. I can help. I told you what I found. I owed you that. We hand Aelia to your latest boss, and how long does she stay caught? My boss doesn't know I'm here. You'll lose your job. <laughs> I already have. But we can't leave Aelia on the loose. I'm here to help. Aelia has followers throughout the city. What should we expect? Her most loyal will be in the Sanctum. There will be a lot of them. You're up for a fight, right? The people Aelia took. Are we sure they're... Alive? If she needs blood for the ritual, she'll want it fresh. If she wants puppets, she needs them alive. And if you're wrong? We give people closure. When will Alias start the ritual? How do we know she hasn't already? We don't. But I know her. If she was done, she'd have made her next move. A complex ritual takes resources, supplies. Alias war with the thread slowed her down, but time's short. Tick tock. All right, let's go. Now? I need time to- Give Alia time to know we're moving, and we're dead. The job's simple. We enter the sanctum, get to the ritual site, and hit Alia by surprise. Can you get in without the cult noticing? If we can get into the catacombs, we can get in. Just don't be too reckless. I'll catch up. Not alone. You'll get yourself killed. I'll send someone for you. I'll set a man at the market to get you inside. Just make the cult bleed. All right, let's get to the thread market. It was Venatori. They painted. It won't come out. You have fewer threads around. Like the threads in love. What am I supposed to do? It's not like him to skip work. Someone. I hate to ask, but how many people has Aelia taken? That I know for sure, too many. There, a body. What's this? He's got something on him. Alex, man. The Venatori got him first. He was watching Venatori movement, spying on the entrance to Sanctum Lusacan. We need to get in there. All right. I've got another way in. Follow me. We get one shot at Alia. Just one. We're ready for it. You're all right. Yes, I um sorry. I haven't really been asleep. The Venatori keep everyone scared. Constant fear makes people desperate, exhausted. Easy targets. The Venatori get a taste of fear today. We're almost there. You have a back way into the thread market? A little something I uncovered. Don't tell Alec. There's our way to the market. Leave the entrance to me. I'm guessing it isn't simple. There's a trick to the enchantment. Just need to untangle it. All right, 
We're in. Let's move. Venatory guards. If they report back to Alia, it's over. Note on the dead man. It mentioned a warehouse. Let's look around. Ha! Place is a mess, but look what stands out. The statue. It's always a statue. It's our way in. Once we're over there. We're through. Sanctum should be ahead. So it's not just prisons kept underwater. Your catacombs run there too. In places. Tunnels used to run to every island Minrathus owned. Most of them flooded ages ago. Some are cut off from the city. But not all of them. Won't hear from them. Come on, we need to get inside. We're close, we this is it. Sanctum Lusacan, the god of night who people in the dark. Isn't that perfect? I can feel blood magic here. Alia's getting stronger. And her ritual. I've got a sick feeling it's going to work. She's then a Dory. I won't let them win. We're cutting it closer than I'd like.
The time is come. It begins now. The glory of the sin must be born. Well done, Ned. Alia's getting started. If we're lucky, she's distracted. But we need to keep moving. So the blood ritual Alia's doing, she says it's from the Risen God, meaning Elgernon. She'd bargain with anyone if he gave her the power and the city she's after. The fact that he doubled as Deventer's God of Night must have made the whole deal sweeter. Here. A warm up for the ritual. Demons! There is blood magic in this place to track them. Spike feels it too. Still no sign of Docktown's missing people. The magic from the other side of this barrier. I don't like it. Which means that's the way to go. From Docktown, a paper seller. Nev Gallus. Did you think I wouldn't notice you were here? Alia. Mage blood. All your power. And how do you waste it? Chasing thieves. Playing shadow dragons. Fighting Minrathus! Nev, can you stop this? I can stop their hearts faster. <laughs> the Venatory have their way. You could have left Docktown. Not before I had the magic to guide those in power. Total control. Docktown was a test. Gallus, complain that it's not what you want. I gave Docktown purpose. The humble serve the righteous. I will raise the city up. Even you will thank me. In fact, I'm waiting. Their only chance is if we stop her ritual, break her power. Nev, are you...? I'm fine. 
We've got a job to finish. Nev, Rook. Rana, Alec, your route through the catacombs still worked. Guessing it was as safe as ours. Help that you tore through the place. The people Aelia took. We couldn't. We'll save who we can. Alec, sticking around for the fight? I've got people in the tunnels. The cult took Thread territory. We protect our streets. The Threads? Never you sure? Scared to get your hands dirty? We did, and it held Aelia off. We're short enough on friends, Rana. We need whoever will fight with us. <sighs> I... All right. Good. Let's send a message. Doc Town's ours. Aelia knows we're here, but she might have missed you. Stay out of view. We'll meet you at the ritual site. All right, this is it. Stay alert and never drop your guard. Not for a moment. Oh. Ah. 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 
ready. Rotate credit there. under my protection. Alec. Is this where you finish it? Rumor has it the threads protect their streets. You should think about that. Alias done. No take backs this time. Are you all right? I'm always. I will be. So what now? I follow through. Tevinter, Thedos, they won't play fair anytime soon. People need protection. If I'm who they get, then I go down swinging. I've played this game a long time. Counted on myself for most of it. At the end of the day, that's who I had left. So here we are. We've chased Aelia, faced a couple gods, and somehow you stick. I could say the same about you. All right. Better get out before it gets sappy. Can't have that. Rook? Yeah? Thanks. Any time. Rook, I had an idea. I figured it's a good time to check in with Eldrin. See how his griffin training is coming along. Want to come with me to Arlathan? Sounds like a plan. It'll be good to see those feathery faces again. You up for drinks? I'm taking Bellara to the Hilt for drinks with the Lords of Fortune. 
You should come. Isabella's paying. Sounds fun. I'm in. I don't understand why you're bringing so many books. Well, I don't see what your objections are to my taking a canopy. We're only going for two days. You've hardly brought more than a flask and a bedroll. Should I send a search party out for you two in a couple of days? No. Of course not. Mm-hmm. Emric wants to see more of Ferelden, so we're going camping. But he's treating it like we're going to an academic... thing. An expedition can have its earthly comforts. <laughs> you want to bring a shaving kit in the woods. My dear Harding, a gentleman is never without a brush and a razor. The whole point of going to the wilds is to get away from all that. So what if you get muddy and smell a little bad? One can enjoy the scenery while remembering to bathe. Harding, does it really matter if Emmerich brings eight books? Nine, actually. And Emmerich, so what if Harding is fine sleeping on dirt? Not all the time. Okay, Rook. I know. This trip's supposed to be fun. I really have looked forward to you showing me more of your home, Harding. <laughs> me too. Oh, and I'll make us sandwiches. Ah, your famous ham and jam slam? Well, yam and jam slam because you don't eat meat. So I'll use yams. How thoughtful. Thank you, Harding. We've cleared some space for Eldrin and the Griffins. We could start We can't let them become talk. a distraction. We offer this form to the sky, the sea, and the earth. Thanks, Rook, for coming. I don't think I could have done this alone. He was a veil jumper, or close enough. Right, close enough. Anyways, we need to light three more braziers. Each one represents an aspect of the self. It's been this way for centuries. It's part of who the Dalish are. Maybe the Archive could have told me why before I freed it, but it's what I know and what I want. I know it's hard, but you can do this. I already buried him once. At least this time, it's for real. Let's head to the first brazier. Oh. 
Okay. The first brazier should be ahead somewhere. How far? However far it needs to be, I guess. Bellara? Hey, Erilyn. Look, if you need to talk, let me know. I don't want our history to make things awkward, and I'm still your friend, you know? Anyways, time to light the first brazier. We give to the sky to share your story with the sun and moon. Feels a little weird saying that one with everything we know now. It's not the ancient elves' fault that Elgernon is, well, what he is. Did I make the right choice? Freeing the Archive? Losing that piece of who we were? Not every question has a good answer, but who we are is just as important as who we were. Syrian didn't want our people to be defined by our struggle. He wanted to go back to who we were, before. He said that's when we were ourselves all the way through. But that struggle? It happened. It changed us into who we are now. Just wish it were easier to know. Next brazier. It's unusual to see all these obstacles in the way of a funeral. Of course, my clan mostly just planted trees over the dead to honor them. Each obstacle is supposed to represent grief and moving past it, literally. But yeah, it's a little weird, probably. Syrian would have laughed at it. Okay, on to the next brazier. What they did, the Evanuris, to us, I can never forgive. With any luck, you can say that right to their faces. Looking forward to it. Here. What? You know I show up for you, Belle. They'd only let one of us come, though. The rest send their regards, especially Emric. I'm just... Wow. Thank you, Nev. And everyone else. Hey, as long as I'm around, you've got family. All right, go on and light the brazier. we give to the sea, to share your story with the heart of the world. We always talked about visiting other lands, Syrian and me, I mean. Maybe the Evanuris did just that, conquered other people, shattered them like they did the doors. What would the world look like if they'd left it alone? The past isn't just one thing. It's all the little choices and events that add up. Who knows what choices we would have made, if they would have been better or worse. But I keep thinking the Elven were the first people the Evanuris enslaved. They broke us and kept us broken. We survived in spite of them, not because of them. But it's still hard knowing what I know. <sighs> okay, on to the next one.
Okay, one more brazier to go. I'd always get the words wrong. In the rituals, I mean. Syrian would laugh at me. Well, not in a mean way, and he'd help me. It meant a lot. So why are there people waiting after the obstacles? It's a reminder. I thought other clans planted trees for their funerals, too. This is what we've always done, that I remember, anyway. Well, we didn't use ancient magic. Bellara, I'm sorry about Syrian. Thanks, Strife. I'm glad you're here. He was one of us, even if he never officially joined. He died protecting Arlathan, even knowing the cost. Saving the world. Seems like it might run in the family. Time to light the last brazier. And a third returns to the soil to blossom once again into life. And that's it. A Dalish funeral, or one version, at least. It hasn't changed much in centuries, from and to the earth. I think Syrian would have appreciated it. There's a reason it stayed constant for so long. The rituals tie us together. You know, I thought I'd be sadder, but I'm okay, mostly. It hurts, but a little bit less every day. Freeing the Archive? Was it the right choice? Does it mean Syrian died for nothing? Well, you sent Anaris back to whatever nightmare he came from, so that's not nothing. That's a really good point. He wanted to reclaim our past, find the truth of who we were. He never got that, never found out what he wanted. But he did the right thing, and I got to say goodbye. That's worth something, right? Now I have to live my life for him, for me, and for our people. That's all any of us can do. Just keep living and putting one foot in front of the other. It's just hard. Sometimes. Harder than it should be. We'll figure out who we were. Who we are. And we'll do it the right way. It's time we let the ghosts of the past rest. I hope... I hope you've found peace that we'll meet again. Goodbye, Syrian. I love you.
Eldrin, how's the training going? Just a minute. Poachers are nearby. The Hulla are in trouble. Quick, to your positions, go! Maybe try asking them nicely? I won't be there the day the real hunters show up. No time to be polite. What about belly rubs? You're the one leading the charge against the gods? Carrot before the stick. <laughs> Looks like you met your match there, Eldrin. They know none of this is real. Won't waste the effort. You need to rouse the raptor in them. That gives me an idea. Wait, what's happening? The Hala are in trouble. An untarmed hunter's nearby. Attack! No, 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 no! Got it! Let me know when you want me with you. So, Tash prized the enormous ruby out of the statue's eye socket. Except then it wakes up, and now it's real pissed that it's missing an eye. <gasps> oh, my. What kind of statue is this? Big snake. Ooh, snakes are just the worst. Really? Oh, I like them. They're friendly most of the time. And if you get bitten by a venomous one, you almost always survive. And now we've got a giant, angry, one-eyed snake statue trying to swallow Tash whole. Wait, how does that work? Where would they go? Did it have a stomach? Wait for it. Best part is, while Tash is pounding that snake's nose, she's still holding the ruby in her other hand. Maker's panties, I was so proud. Oh, uh, um... Ah, shit. They, they're still holding it. Sorry. What are you doing? Pulling a barb. Oh, okay. A barb? Tradition in the Lords of Fortune, from one of our old members, Barb. Good guy, but like most of us, his plans went sideways a lot. Bad blood among your crew's not good for morale, but there's not always time for big, drawn-out apologies. So, when one of us screws up and we know we've screwed up, we do a quick ten to put it right. Pulling above. Oh, there we go. Any reason you can't just apologize? Sometimes people say, oops, sorry, and hope that fixes it. But they just want to get the whole thing over with. Trust me, I know. But pulling above, you sweat a little. Makes you think about it a little more. Shows the other person you mean it. What if they mean it when they say they're sorry, though? And that's the other reason. Some people mess up and get all dramatic. 
They make it about them. Oh, you know, I didn't mean it right. I'd never do that on purpose. They feel so bad about it that it's on everyone else to smooth it over and make them feel better. Oh, oh, okay, yes, some people might do that. Pulling a barve puts it on the person who screwed up. They made the mess, they fix it, done. I'm glad the Lords of Fortune have Tasha's back. Oh, Tash isn't the first non-binary member of the Lords. Really? It was a little before your time, but Horlicks was one of ours. Huh. Bastard looked better than I did in a dress or pants. And out of them, too. Hmm. That's a nice rule. We could try it on our team. At least you'd get a workout. Ouch. I didn't expect the Lords to care about the stuff. Me being non-binary. Kirkwall taught me about family. If it matters to you, it matters to me. I mean, to the, uh, Lords. Oh. Thanks. Uh, anyway, where was I? So, their Tash is thigh deep in a snake's maw and still holding the giant ruby in one hand. I yell that we'll get them out of there and Tash just yells back, Get up its ass! I'll meet you in the middle! Okay, the stomach I get, but did it really have a... Hey, who ate the last breaded cheese wand? Oh no, I'm sorry. I, I guess I thought, well, I, I don't know what... It's fine. No, no! They're your favorite. I think Tosh will survive, Blara. No, Rook. Tosh loves cheese wands. Tosh loves everything. Nothing like running down dragons to build up an appetite. It's the fire breathing. I have to eat more to build up stuff in my gut. I know what I have to do. I'm pulling a barve. One, two, three. Heart's in the right place. Form's a little sloppy, though. <laughs> Bend your knees. Rescued some Dalish from being Archdemon breakfast, didn't you? Ready for something really spicy? I've got what you need. Barely a scratch. Oh, 
I can't wait to see what you've got. Oh, fine. Go drink some milk or something. Rook stopped the Antam, took down their comic maker. She did your job for you. She's a hero. Just a meddling busybody. One who stirred up the butcher's Antam. I can't believe you're defending them. I am not defending anyone, Jacobus. You're letting them be a part of this? My cousin died because the governor didn't stop the Antom from... Jacobus. No. I'm not going to stand around and listen to this. I'll see you later. Well, now that that unpleasantness is dealt with, about your mysterious informant... Whoever they are, they know the Antom and Treviso. Your message made it sound like this informant also knows where the gods are staging their ritual. Treviso does not need this troublemaker. This should be left to proper officials. It very much concerns Rook. We have a contact who offers access to the Butcher and privileged information on the gods. A chance to find your gods and to free the city. A prize for both our causes. Both are important. Strong with the crows, strong against the gods. Someone else seems to think so. The Contact knows the city and the Antam. How do you know it's for real? They gave us patrol patterns. Dreadnought arrivals. Their information is real. And you didn't share this with me? The bookkeepers can bookkeep when the meeting is done. When and where do we meet? They'll be in the market. And they ask for me, not you or Viago. You help this city, and you're helping all of Thedas. You've earned respect. We just don't know from whom. There's really no clue who it is? They're foolish enough to think crows are reliable. That's a clue about their worth. They promise help. So do you, when you're not killing each other. Oh, Treviso deserves better. It's getting the best. That has yet to be proven. Hypothetically, what if I'm walking into an ambush? I would prepare for one. Not everything is an adder in the wardrobe. I said to prepare. I didn't say not to go. What about the human help the Amtam was getting? You have any leads on that? We continue what you started. The other Talons are turning over every stone. You trust them? Not even your first Talon is safe from your infighting. We are all Antivan Crows. And yet, those of us sworn to Treviso are beneath you. I'll talk with this mystery contact. And the rest of us will hope not to get caught in your crossfire again. We fight for everyone. And the chance to strike at the gods and the Antam? It's worth the risk. Good luck, Rook. See what this mysterious informant can give us. The meeting is in the market, Rook. They implied you can't miss them. Try not to damage anything. <clears throat> Let's 
like Antam blood. I'll keep the goods flowing. Good luck with your contracts. Unknown contact. This is a trap. We're fighting gods with the crows. I'm curious who would try to trap us. If our informant actually knows where Elgernon and Gilliman are performing the next ritual, it's worth the risk. Okay, Viago and Taya said our informant is somewhere in the market. Let's find them. I just hope their supposed information about the god's location is actually true. Sure. There's no need for that. Treviso is the trap, not this meeting. Please. So tense. I promise I'll signal when it's time to fight. Strange way to ambush someone. <laughs> I don't have to ambush anyone. You think I couldn't just march on the crows? Scattered on Tom flock to me. I have the soldiers to raise your casino and every inch of this city. But I'll bet there's no profit in actually winning. Hmm. There's money being made by the occupation. But not by me. I said Treviso was the trap. And I meant it. The jewel of Antiva. She sings even while caged. Such purity in every stone. It's trapped my heart. I love this city. You have a strange way of showing your affection. I conquered it. I didn't betray it. Not like the cattle born here. You know there are traitors here. They ransom their own city. Literal gods stock the land, but these filth worship their own purses. But you... You're different. You and the crows stay true to your roles. It means something when you die, and even more when you kill. You're as much a work of art as this city. And you... want a secret from me. If you really do love this city, you'll tell me where the gods are holding the ritual. <sighs> the gods, <laughs> they give strength. But all they ask in return is everything. I can feel their corruption. I can hear their whispers. They're calling for a ritual. If I give in, I'll know where you need to go. But I will lose my jewel. My city! So... You live in a casino. Let us make a game of this. I will become what the gods want. Welcome their wish. 
whispers. Meet me and show me if the crows deserve my city. The butcher was our contact, and he's letting himself fall to the blight? Finish them off. We need to go after the butcher. wants us to prove we're worthy of saving Treviso? That's what's happening? By turning himself into a monster. Everyone's acting like normal. Like the Butcher hasn't gone nuts. Who's going to believe that? I don't. Safer to keep your head down, I guess. Hear the shift in his voice? He's changing. He's gone, and he named the ritual site, Tearstone Island. The Butcher didn't lie, if that's worth anything. He got the death he wanted. Good trade, I guess. And he gave us the information we came for. Yes, truly the Butcher was a paragon of honor and virtue, and we are all devastated to see him go. Evenshi. And now you have a location for your final pointless confrontation. The gods are at Tearstone Island. Isn't that what you wanted? A chance to die a hero's death? So go, leave Treviso to those who deserve it. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us, Governor? Oh, please, just say what you're thinking. 
You sold Treviso out to the Antom. I did what was best for Treviso. Who else would have done what was necessary? That troop of fools in the casino? They would have provoked the Antom to slaughter, the kind they carried out in every other Antivan city they crossed. I gave them the crows so they would not take the rest of the city. I gave them an inch so they would not take a mile. You can't make bargains with evil, Avenchi. It never holds up its side of the deal. And now the Antom are working with the gods. You didn't prevent a slaughter. You just postponed it. If you hadn't killed the Butcher! Someone else would have. He decided he wasn't their pawn anymore. The gods would have killed him. And then you would be ruled by someone much, much worse. <laughs> you should have been a politician, Rook. Instead of, well, whatever it is you are besides an annoyance. But this city is mine. We need a real leader. You know who else wants a leader? The Antom. And if someone plays the role they want, they are very accepting. They also understand that bringing order to Treviso requires the purging of disruptive elements that cause nothing but chaos. So go to Tearstone Island. Have your little showdown with the gods. Fight your pointless battle. And leave the city to me. It makes sense now. Every decision they made shows it. The other officials, of course, know nothing. Of course. I'm surprised they even remember the governor's name. I take it you heard? The butcher's dead. And in his place is the traitor we knew was lurking. And the Antom fell in line? Evenchi is apparently playing the role they want. The governor has given them a clear purpose. They were more cunning than I thought. If only we'd figured out it was Avenchi before all this started. I wish the same. But regret does neither of us good. We knew someone had delivered Treviso to the Butcher. You brought us their name. The Hand that Leashed Treviso. The Butcher was the mouth, but the Hand was Avenchi all along. They think they have the power in the Antam, and a network doing their will. But we have the face of our enemy. Avenchi will be hiding. So we will hound their Antam and make them desperate. When the Governor show themselves again, we end this. You're not concerned the gods will send the Antam more support? The gods might come for us, but they're coming for everyone. I believe you are crafting the answer to that, and we will help as we can. When Avenchi left, they made it sound like they were planning something. I suspect it will be about restoring order as they see it, and that the crows will be first on their list. Whatever the good governor's intent, we'll end it. Eventually keeps talking about restoring order and rebuilding Treviso. But what then? I believe the good governor's plan was to risk the city to try and claim the nation. If the Antam beheaded the crows, who would merchant princes hire? Who would invaders fear? As if the Antam would fill that role. This was a bookkeeper's angry grab at power. We'll stop Avenchi. The gods. Did you learn where they will be? Tearstone Island. Avenchi confirmed it before they left. We know the time to face Elgernon and Gilanane approaches, but it will not take us long to find Avenchi. You have been our ally through all this. It would be an honor to have your help against the governor again. We'll let you know when we'll make our move. And after that, Treviso will be free.
I need to get the team around the table and talk about what's next. Tearstone Island. That's where Elganon and Gilanaim will perform their ritual. With an eclipse, those two can finish their dagger, then tear open the Fade. After that, we've witnessed the horrors Gilanaim creates with even a trickle of the Blight. What happens with a flood? Next eclipse is a month away. That's not a lot of time. Getting past the Antom Navy won't be easy. They'll be on high alert. We'd need our own fleet to get past them, which we don't have. If anyone can find a way around that fleet, it's us. Everything seems impossible at the beginning. Just fight one battle at a time. Varric told me that. Damn right, kid. A single boat can sneak past a blockade. We just need to find something that floats. The Antam fleet may not spot us, but the gods see much farther. Worse. They know about us, specifically. They'll be waiting. Let's make sure there's too many distractions for them to spot us. Sounds like you have a plan. Harding, reach out to our allies. Wardens, Veil Jumpers, all of them. Tell them to be ready to start swinging. We start enough fires, make some noise, and the gods will look everywhere for us. Except at their front door. You've helped our allies, Rook. They're ready to return the favor. That takes care of the approach. But what about when we get there? We'll have two gods waiting. Who knows how many on Tom? We'll need to be at our best. Question is, are we there yet? We are ready as we'll ever be. I'll send off messages to our allies. They'll be ready. For something like this, we'll need everyone we know. Would Morrigan help? Could Morrigan help? The world's ending. That's when Morrigan does her best work. Great. Tell Morrigan the plan. See if the Inquisitor's willing to help us. I know she's busy leading the fight in the south, but... She knows this blight won't end until the gods are dead. I hear that we're as ready as we'll ever be, but we can always be more prepared. Weeks until the next eclipse gives us time. Let's use it wisely. Agreed. Get some rest. Then we'll take care of outstanding business. Venatori had the narrow road. Now they think twice before walking that way. And your neighbors? What's the price of that protection? <laughs> you think I'd charge our dear friends? The people who spread rumors about how threads made Aelia disappear. Rebuilding the threads reputation for free? For the few of us left. Now the Venatori who thought he found a legitimate charm supplier, he gets counterfeit goods. Triple cost. Can't argue about your target, but it's a dangerous scam. Be careful. Is that genuine concern? <laughs> You're fun. 
Anyway, Nev, I'm out of news. But the threads are yours. You need something? Say the word. Thanks, Alec. Remember, if you cross our neighbors, you can drown me in the Nosen Sea. Rook, it's been a pleasure. You've got a good setup here. Enjoy life in the Fade. Life in the Fade? Huh. We've been at the lighthouse a while now. I don't know when it started, but I think of it as home. It's built to be inviting. Which you still find suspicious. You know, this is my only address now. I still had an apartment back home. Rent paid up and everything. It got torched in the dragon attack. Nev. Everything I have is here in this room. One false step from drifting into the Fade. If I said you have a home with us, would you make fun of me? Maybe, but thanks. I never expect things to go to plan, but I usually have one anyway. Or seven. And a half dozen backup plans, just in case. And now? Everything's changed. I've changed. If I survive the job, I'll be starting over, in a way. Maybe that should scare me. But I think I need it. I usually hate unanswered questions, but this one... I'll let myself figure out once I get there. What happened? A note from Viago. Lario's making his move? A big one. He's hosting all the talents of the Crows at Katarina's villa. That's a good way to get himself killed. Unless he's got something up his sleeve. Maybe he thinks his blood magic will be enough to control them all. We have to do this carefully. Ilario has to be expecting us. You think he knows that we know about him and Elgernon? He wouldn't be avoiding us otherwise. Be ready for a trap. I always am. Where'd everyone go? They've gone to the villa without us. Come on. Did Alario even offer any bait? What is this party supposed to be for? Viago's invitation said they would celebrate the new first talent and discuss the situation in Treviso. It doesn't matter what my cousin thinks he's doing. It ends now. We go in, find Katerina, and we'll have the perfect shot at Ilario. <laughs> So we're paying a visit to your family home, then? 
We are. But we're not exactly on the guest list. We're crashing a crow party. Of course we are. We'll take the rooftops to the villa. Stay out of sight as long as possible. Trouble ahead. We move on your word. Kill them before they can warn the others. We're under attack! <laughs> Follow me. Why not just go to the house? Because there's no way Ilario will let me through the door. He fears us. Good. He should. Rook, you see that tower with the circular window? That's where we're going? It's the quickest way there. After you. How far is it to Alario's party? The opera is. It's, you know, across the grounds. In the guest house. Why does such a big house need a second house? For guests. Just wait for the signal. We're under attack! That stink of blood magic of her! The jailer! Zara is dead. The Venatori should be long gone. They hurt us! They will suffer! <laughs> City full of Anton? I don't think they're here to see the sights. Sure seem to know your way around these rooftops, Lucanus. The streets of Treviso get more dangerous by the day. So, you find your cousin. What then? He will suffer for what he's done. That's the deal. Over there, that's Villa de la Morte. Once we're through the tower, we just need to reach the river. Understood. Oh, it's stoppable. The train is 
Badly. For him. The Venatori still want to work with Ilario? After what he did to Zara? They don't give a damn about Ilario. It's Antiva they want. can take that gondola. Ow! <sighs> we go under the bridge. We aren't going in through a sewer, are we? No sewers in Treviso. The streets are barely above water as it is. There's a hidden escape route. That's our way inside. Over there. That's the entrance. Your house has a secret escape route, and Ilario didn't post a guard on it? Ilario doesn't know it's here. Why not? Katarina didn't even tell me about it. I found it laying here alone as a boy. an older woman. Katerina. Katerina must be a difficult prisoner. And here we are. Welcome to Villa de la Morte. No wonder Alaria wants to inherit. Home? Smells like dust in linseed oil. Don't say that when Katerina is in earshot. So you lived here? Ilario and I both did. Until we were 18. What about your parents? Killed by a rival house. We would have ended up with Katerina anyway, to train. Get ready. This is my house. Done. Where are the next?
What was it like, training under the first Talon? Torture. Katarina was hard on us because she wanted us to leave. You don't resent her? Not anymore. Hey! They're close. <laughs> made themselves comfortable, but we'll get them out. The family rooms are up ahead. First her, and then we find what we seek. gods themselves is at our command, and we're thwarted by a door. The door's been barred from the inside. So, we bust down the door and get attacked, probably? Which is why I'll go first. Katerina, Lucanis, my poor boy. We'll escort you someplace safe before we go after Alario. You'll do no such thing. There's no time for heroic nonsense. Heroic nonsense saved your grandson and is rescuing you now. I won't let Alario do more damage. Go! I'll meet you in the Opera House. I hope she can keep herself safe. Welcome to House de la Morte, Rook. Do you have a plan to deal with Alario? Lucanus? I'm working on it. He is ours. He will not escape us. This is it. Get ready. You have a plan now, right? Knives are involved. Katerina's death was a tragedy. But to get Lucanus back from the dead, only to lose him to a demon. For me, it is a deep, personal loss. And so, I take the mantle of First Talon with a heavy heart. But the crows could rise from the ashes with our new allies, the Venatori. We could reclaim and 
Eva. Over my dead body. That can be arranged. What am I ever going to do that is worse than this? On your knees, in front of every house. Get up, Ilario. Caterina, thank the maker. No one from House de la Morte kneels. Mierda. What am I supposed to do with this idiot? Didn't you tell me he was basically your brother? And your closest childhood friend? My only friend before you. <sighs> His family. Do you think you can show me mercy? <laughs> that is not up to you now, is it? Katerina is still first talent. Enough, Filario. Lucanis is the new first talent. His decision stands. Yago. Keep him out of trouble. I'm no miracle worker. But I'll see what I can do. Look at me. Don't. Not now. Welcome home, my boy. Toast to the new first talon, to Lucanus! Discreet exit? I'm ready, but are you sure? They're celebrating you. Mm, I have other plans for the evening. Really? You came all the way back here for coffee. The stuff in your villa wasn't good enough? It's better if I make it myself. And I wanted some quiet. So, first talent of the crows, huh? Does that mean you'll be leaving us? No. We have a contract. Besides, she may have stepped down, but there's no stopping Katerina from giving all the orders. I still cannot believe she did that. <sighs> well, that's a relief. Because I don't want to do this without you. I couldn't leave this place. 
Not with you here. You'll have me for as long as I can put off the crows. Hmm. Fucking Hilario. Do you regret giving him a chance? No. You were right. His family. I didn't suspect him. When the Benetori caught me on the boat in Tevinter, it never even crossed my mind. He's better than I thought. Maybe there's hope for him after all. But this? Being watched by all the crows with their knives out? This wasn't mercy. He'll never live this down. There's nowhere he could go to outrun being the traitor crow brought down in front of everyone. I was surprised he spared him at all, really. So was I. But I don't have a lot to lose. What there is, Ilario, Katarina, you, this team, I'm not giving that up. Hey, thanks for getting Elgernon out of our heads when he was doing his ritual. Wouldn't have without Malara. I didn't cause my shit. Oh, Rook, you're here. Good. I had a question for my story. Sure. What kind of question? Oh, um, well, a personal one, I guess. Maybe not. Never mind. Come on. I'm curious now. Okay, I'll try. I'm gonna do this. So, I'm having fun. It's different, but neat. And the fighting bits are going well. So's the romance, mostly. That's great. <laughs> I'm glad it's going well. It is. It helps. All of what we do, I mean. Not that I'm writing about us, but, well, it's us inspired. So what did you want to ask then? It's my hero. I know who they are, what they look like, all of that. But I can't figure out the why. Why what? Why they do it. Risk it all. Save the world. Well, you're a hero. I mean, a real one. So why are you doing all this? You know, I haven't really thought about it much. I guess I saw something that needed doing. Then I just kept going. I wish I could be like that. Facing danger, caution to the wind. But that's pretty much exactly what you do, all the time. Sure, because I have to, and I'm scared the whole time. Everyone's scared sometimes. It's what you do with the fear that counts. Facing it, fighting through it, that's what a hero does. I guess so. It's hard to think of it that way. We are going up against a god. Multiple gods, actually. That feels heroic. To me, at least. And we're saving the world. 
We're going to see this through. All the way. I like that confidence. Anyways, I should get back to it. Writing. Thanks, Rook. That helped. A lot. Like Antam blood. I'll keep the goods flowing. See you again. It worked. The crows have harried the Antam, and the Venchi is re Rook, good. We have discovered what Ivenchi is planning for Treviso. When you fought the Kamek Master in the garrison, you mentioned a note you found that said some Kamek had gone missing. We have discovered who stole it. Eventually. The governor intends to release it all around the city to pacify violent seditionists. They called us reckless and now... <sighs> now Eventually will ruin the minds of thousands in this city to have their peace and order. Who is Eventually planning to poison with the Kamek? Aside from the crows. People who have spoken up too loudly against the Antam. Anyone too friendly with the crows. I doubt Ivenchi is familiar with poisons. I guarantee the Kamek will spread to the rest of the city as well. Destroying your own people's minds. How could Ivenchi do this? By telling themselves there is nothing else to be done. They will trot out some excuse to give to the worst of the politicians and the merchant princes. You say that as if those were different people. It is finally time to strike. Go to the garrison and prevent Ivenchi from releasing the Kamek. Once you are there, Thea and I will lead the Crows against the rest of Ivenchi's forces in the city. Understood. One more thing. Jacobus stormed off earlier, angry at Ivenchi. We have not seen him in some time. Look out for him, would you? Of course. We'll head to the garrison. Some of the merchant families have fled. They got wind of Ivenchi's comic and suddenly worry they are not on good terms with the governor. I am only surprised they stayed in the city so long. I heard the butcher was waiting. <laughs> There's the garrison. On to the garrison and the governor. What were we talking about? <laughs> First, Talon. What? Seeing if you've got the hang of your new title yet. Right. Me. First Talon. If you join the wardens, you could become the first, first warden who's... We clear the garrison this time. Then she's got to know there's no way out for a traitor. We follow a governor now. The butcher was weak. This is not the cure. On top. Get ready. Don't have fast. Keep that up, Rook. Jacobus? Me and my friends are sick of doing nothing. Eventually has got their comic past the courtyard, but they've locked the gates. We'll break into the garrison and get them open. Be careful. The Antom- We'll stay hidden. Good luck.
More on Tom. Avengers throwing everything at us. Get clear. Now for Avenchi. I know you're there, Rook! I'm ready for you! Come face the ruler Trapiso deserves! Told of them. Something's wrong. Something in the air. Oh, <laughs> 
Why don't you give up? Way to fight, bro. Rook fought you like a crow. And Taya, Viago, Jacobus, they all took more responsibility as Trevisans than you did. I lost so many people to the Anton. My family, my cousin. By right, his contract against the governor is mine. And I say Evenshi doesn't deserve to die. They deserve to live. What? On trial. Paraded in public, everyone will know who hurt Treviso, and you'll suffer for every minute of it. You can't... You can't do this! You can't let this brat decide what happens to me! It's time to live with your actions, Governor. That seems fair to me. Being made a scapegoat for all of Treviso's ills is fair? You can't put me on trial. I'm still governor of this city. Not after the crows go to the merchants and the king about the comic. The message about Treviso and the future of the crows has already been sent. Your contract is due, Ivenchi. The crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. You are certain of this path? I've never been more certain. And you're sure of this course? You already asked him that. Viago, dear, can't you see that I'm stalling? Ah, you are waiting for Rook's interruption. No, her audience. Am I that predictable? You are reliable. I might say, essential. It was an honor to defend Treviso with the crows. To the business of the day, then. Jacobus, are you ready? I'm ready, Fifth Talon. What's going on? We accept Jacobus' right to the contract on Ivenchi, and his decision to spare the governor. It sent a stronger message than killing them. Their crimes will be aired, their reputation blackened. And during these punishments, the former governor will live with the fear we may still one day and them. For his help, and proving he has sound judgment, Jacobus is becoming a full Antivan crow. I'm happy for you. You deserve it. I just want the chance to follow Air's lessons and your example. I only got this because you went out to face a Vinci Rook. I couldn't have done it alone. I want to find others like me. Orphans. People with no more homes, under a new house name. Neri suggested... Igrativi. It's old Trevisan, sort of... A grateful life. I'm honored, Jacobus Igrativi. You and your new house will do great things as crows. The fifth Talon agrees. As does the seventh. Rook, all of Treviso is in your debt. For what you did out there, 
and for the future you have inspired. You have powerful enemies. When you decide it's time to put them in their place, we'll be there. And Rook, you'd have made a damn fine crow. Remember that. Have a moment? What is it? You were there to witness my new deal with Spite. You should come with us to see it paid in full. Interesting. A spare moment with you is an added benefit. Well, I can't say no to that. When you're ready. The Jacobus needs a good start. And extended family is always a good Do you think they're wondering why you ordered a drink for the empty chair? If they are, they won't tell anyone. The crows own this cafe. Mmm, smells like Lucanis. Just try it. So are you two okay now? Since you gave Ilario another chance, I mean? That wasn't our deal. We said we'd save Katarina, and we did. Even I believe we did. So there's peace. For the moment, at least. How's your grandmother doing? You've met her. She was hewn out of Dragonbone. She's pretending not to be upset by Hilario's betrayal and my possession. Which means she's making everyone else as miserable as possible. Except Dea. She likes Dea. Are the other talents okay with the whole... Abomination thing? Probably not, but they prefer me to Ilaria or the Benatori. I suppose the crows have had worse first talons. It must feel good to just relax with a cup of coffee and not worry about everything. I'm not sure Spite's enjoying it, but yes. What is it? What does that mean exactly? He doesn't eat, but a promise is a promise. I don't know what I thought it would be like, getting out of the ossuary, getting my life back. You mean you didn't spend all that time dreaming about having coffee with your inner demon? And with you. But here we are. Whatever this is, 
I'll take it. No, no. I had to kill a man once who did blood magic on nugs. A hundred little pigs with hands came after me. All together in one big writhing ball. Have you ever tried to stab a ball of angry nugs? That was a bad job. I've got a better one. You know what the wandering hills are named for? It's a monster. Big heap of red tentacles that crawls around, devouring everything in its path. The damn thing was a hillside, the eyes of a village. You try fighting a hill with a sword sometime. How did you kill it? Lamp oil. Everything stank of burnt tentacles for miles after. It's good to see the two of you getting along. Of course we're getting along. We're professionals. We're talking business, Rook. Grab a seat. Is anyone else hungry? Maybe I should cook something. What about you, Rook? What's the worst job you've ever been on? I don't think they get worse than Weishaupt. No, Weishaupt was a shit show. Bad jobs are a different beast. Weishaupt was a lot of beasts stuffed into a burning fortress. You joining us then? Fine. I'll cook something, if Rook's staying. Maybe just for a minute. Rook's story first. Then Lucanus owes me one about this contract on a Bronto. Mierda. That Bronto. Targets ahead.
First, Talon. What? Seeing if you've got the hang of your new title yet. Right. Me. First Talon. If you join the Wardens, you could become the first First Warden who's also First Talon. The first First Talon Warden? Or First Talon First Warden. Is that the First Talon who is a Warden? Or the First First Talon First Warden? So many possibilities. Just no. A son would be another Van Harrell altar. Never. How is it any different from what you're teaching him? Griffins are born to hunt Darkspawn. It's an instinct. You're proposing murder for hire? He's not a mercenary. What if I pay him with ginger wort truffles? We're done with this. Here we go. 